defooing. Like I said, defooing is a legitimate medical practice. And it really didn't say anything about defooing. It just said that we are concerned about your statements you've made about defooing, right? It didn't really talk about defooing at all. Yeah. So it's, Stefan made it sound like they, they came out and endorsed defooing. So that, that's the closest so, I well, can see. Well, here's the thing. Is I understand it, defooing is an industry term, and it is something that people that talk therapists and stuff will sometimes advocate. Uh, but it is supposed to be best before. practices are that it's done in a, this sort of clinical setting where you have doctor or therapist patient confidentiality and they've done a full workup on you and your problem and whatever and so they were concerned about the setting not the advice right did, did, it, so did you say did i hear you correctly did you when you said that stefan did not actually invent that term defu someone else invented that i think foo is the industry term they may have invented huh. defu okay okay well anyway like like you said and i'm kind of i'm glad you, uh, you you struck to the root of this issue davi because really a lot of these, uh, and you heard, and I heard you talk about the Ben Stone thing. A lot of these complaints, to me, seem to come down to the standard, like Molyneux is a cult leader, you know, narrative that was, you know, happened in 2008 when he told that British that there, there was a controversy in the British media where he told a teenager to defoo or suggested it, and he did, and he was 18, and there was a huge media circus over it. It, it feels starting to feel like a rehash of that. I think the real issue is what you got, you pointed out, Davi. Is is he going to live up to his principles of voluntarism and freedom, and uh, and you know not use copyright and reach some kind of agreement with true sheeds? I think. And here's the, the other thing: uh, being a cult leader is not a legitimate libertarian con condemnation. There, there's no nap violation in being a cult leader. <laughs> well, that is true. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, I mean, you could you could use the uh, you could also argue that pe liberty people are cultists, right? Because there's a there's a there are figures who speak, and there's a common message, and people are separated from their families, and and da da da. So, I mean, at this point, I, I'm not. I guess I'm done with the the fooing and like the defooing and the cult leader allegations because there's not there's no new evidence. There's no yeah. he hasn't opened any temples. He hasn't excommunicated anybody. Like there's. I can't see any new uh, information in that area. And not only that, his stuff on family is among the good stuff that I want to defend. Like, it, my, I don't have any problem with the stuff he's said on family. Yeah, me neither. Um, you know, and, and in fact, I, I'm starting to more and more think that it really did, does just come down to this idea of blood being thicker than water. Because if, if he really did was saying these things about abusive husbands, then he really, there wouldn't really be any problem at all. You know, no, most people would have his back if that's where he were talking why about. Why are libertarians jumping on this bandwagon of her license may have been revoked? W shouldn't we all <laughs> be against this license? I mean, like, what organization has the right to tell her she's not allowed to talk to patients? I think yeah, what people have an issue with is that it appears Stefan lied about the license. It's the lie that he told, not the fact that there is a license. Yeah. It's that yeah, he it said did sound, yeah. it sounded like a lie. Um, I don't know how that's going to get resolved because if that document I read is the real one, then it, it at least what he said is misleading. I don't know if it's a lie, but it was misleading. But I don't really care anyway because like she shouldn't have to have a license to practice psychiatry in Canada. Oh no! Before we go, I want to let everyone know that the Peacekeeper app is now available for download on the Android app, Google Play Store. It's always been available at the Apple App Store, but now you can download it free. It's an app that could replace police. Check it out at peacekeeper.org. It's all free. I want to thank my guests, Josie Wales and Davi Barker. This has been Peace News Now. Check us out at peacenewsnow.com. We'll see you Sunday. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenevention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at keenevention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin.
Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. If you can't listen to the Liberty Radio Network's internet streams, free satellite channel, or radio affiliates, no worries. You can listen to LRN.FM from any phone, anywhere. Add this number to your phone. 213-493-0309. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Liberty Radio Network listen lines are locked into our stream 24 hours a day. Call 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. Lock it here for more live content. Free Talk Live is next on the Liberty Radio Network. You can help new minds find liberty. Chip in at lrn.fm. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, August 29, 2014. Gold opened today at $1,285, silver opened at $19.49, while Bitcoin is trading around $508.39. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. In the news, in the wake of the Michael Brown shooting in Ferguson, Missouri, activists across the country are looking for solutions to the problem of police brutality. Some groups are calling for political action to deal with the issue. Others are circumventing the political channels altogether and taking direct action. One group doing just that is the Huey P. Newton Gun Club. Named after the late co-founder of the Black Panther Party, the Huey P. Newton Gun Club organized an open carry march in downtown Dallas, Texas this week. Organizers of the demonstration say their purpose is twofold, to protect people of their communities from the police and to educate the public about their right to keep and bear arms. After being denied in an appeals court, opponents of Houston's Equal Rights Ordinance are asking the Texas Supreme Court to help them in their efforts to force a referendum on the law. On Tuesday, opponents of the law filed a request seeking to have the court force the city to suspend the measure until another vote takes place. The law, which passed in May, bans discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity, as well as other factors. Is Austin, Texas becoming a nanny state? Well, that's the question that many are asking after two pieces of legislation were passed at Thursday's city council meeting, further restricting the liberties and property rights of Austin residents. The council unanimously passed legislation banning motorists from using cell phones while driving. Well, that follows an ordinance passed in 2010 that banned texting while driving. On top of that, an ordinance authored by Chris Riley, which requires businesses in Austin with single-stall bathrooms to label the bathroom as gender neutral, also passed. The legislation is intended to make transgender people feel more comfortable, but some Austin residents think the city has bigger issues to deal with. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud. All natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper, 401ks, and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 reason books free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, August 29th, 2014. Make sure you check out our website, at thelibertybeat.com. Documents obtained by the News Tribune indicate that the Tacoma Police Department has been quietly operating cell phone surveillance technology since 2008. The tool, known as Stingray, tricks cell phones by pretending to be a cell tower and collecting data from the phone. Deputy City Attorney Michael Smith redacted much of the documents. However, what can be seen reveals the police department has updated their technology as recently as last year. A number of Tacoma City Council members stated they were unaware of the technology. 
A Tacoma Police Department spokeswoman stated the chief could not speak about the technology because of a non-disclosure agreement with the FBI. A federal judge dealt a blow to the efforts of Hawaiians who fought for countywide regulations on genetically modified organisms. Syngenta and other biotechnology companies filed a lawsuit against Kauai County after the council approved an ordinance that required GMO farmers to submit annual reports to government agencies about their crops, as well as no-spray buffer zones. U.S. Magistrate Judge Barry Kernan ruled that the ordinance was preempted by Hawaii state regulations for pesticides, plant quarantines, seed quality, and noxious weeds. However, the ruling does imply that the ordinance was not barred by federal law. The implication is that other counties or cities could pass GMO legislation just so long as it does not interfere with the federal or state laws. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Corey Moore Show. With a focus on all things topical and liberty-oriented, Corey Moore and his band of co-hosts, including me, keep a sense of humor while attacking the state. The Corey Moore Show, live each Friday night, 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock Eastern, at CoreyMooreShow.com and LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, August 29, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. It's the Onion Radio News. Hager physicists have created quantum slacks. This is Doyle Redland reporting. The stunning announcement that a team of Hager physicists has successfully developed quantum slacks was made this morning at a press conference in Philadelphia. According to Dr. Daniel Chang, head of the Hager team, conventional notions about the physical properties and possibilities of slacks have been turned on their heads. We are on the verge of unzipping the secrets of creation and peering into the pants of God himself. It appears the very fabric of the universe may well be a smart cotton twill weave. However, Chang urged caution in further research. After tests conducted last month at the Hager Pants Propulsion Collider Laboratory in Dallas suggested the possible existence of so-called anti-pants, which could, in theory, initiate a chain reaction resulting in no pants at all. Doyle Redland for The Onion Radio News, online at theonion.com. This is The Onion News Network. You are listening to Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show. Yes, we are live here on Sunday evening, even on a holiday weekend. What what silly holiday is it this weekend? I believe it's Labor Day. Okay. <laughs> since this is what happened out everywhere. <laughs> since I've been self-employed, I don't really pay much attention to these. Most of them have to do with, uh, you know, patriotism and things I don't really support anyway. So This one is the union holiday, ah, uh, which hmm. uh, I don't know whether when you're self-employed, I don't know where really who you have to thank for that. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with myself. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, myself. You didn't build that. Being Stephanie. Yes, I did. <laughs> and Brian. And Mark. And uh, our website here on the show is freetalklive.com. The show is a program where you can call and bring up anything that's on your mind. That's why we call it Free Talk Live. So if you have a burning question or a burning thought that you want to share with the world, give us a call, 855-450-3733. Uh, we'll talk to you about pretty much anything. You can also call on Skype. Our Skype handle is lrn.fm. And since we uh, are just starting out the show, I've got something I wanted to talk about with you guys. Now, I think a lot of people in the audience will be able to relate to this. The worst college majors in terms of getting a job. I mean, how many people out there have loads of student debt, gone to college, but they can't get a job with what they majored in, right? Yeah, this is, um, I mean, this has been the thing for decades is, is you know, you, you need that good major. But I, you know, I'm, I'd love to find out what the 10 worst are, but I'm kind of of the opinion there are maybe only 10 majors worth getting. That, you know, essentially if you're not, uh, a, if you don't want to be a college professor, an engineer, a lawyer, a doctor, medical doctor, um, you know, some kind of researcher, that Computer most... Computer programmer, maybe. But I mean, yeah, most, you can teach that to yourself these days. Most of these people are teaching that stuff themselves, and you're you're unlearning the things that you learned in college <laughs> once you get it. I, you know, yeah, I don't even know if there's. T- I mean, like, is that? I think every major would be bad. I mean, that's my kind of opinion on it. I went to college for two months. 
in only two months because I realized, wait a minute, I'm losing money being here. I could be making a whole lot more money outside. And, you know, we're talking 1999, year 2000, around there for that. That's, you know, long ago when I realized that fact. Uh, and I, I think really that a lot of people might feel that way. Yep. I went to college for four years for biochemistry and graduate school for seven years. Well, you and have a PhD. I do. I how, are, a, how are you using that right now? Well, I'm probably the most overqualified voice actor you'll ever meet <laughs> and radio talk show host. But yeah, the point is, I don't do... You did, by the way, not pay any of your own money to go to no, school. No, in fact, I was, um, you know, I worked really hard to get scholarships so that I didn't have to finance it myself. And if I had, honestly, that probably would have made the difference to where I, I may not have done it. And this is the advice that's given by uh, Jason Osborne, who, uh, you know, has got the degrees like you've got the degrees. And, you know, he sponsored the show for many years. And I thought that it was really great advice is don't go to college if you have to pay for it. Um, and, you know, that's why. You, but, but what you're doing at that point is you're celebrating and, and being uh, joyful that everybody else who foolishly pays for college and shouldn't be is because they couldn't give away free education to the top 10% of academic performers or whatever it is that they mm -hmm. give that kind of money to if they didn't have the bottom 90%. Yeah, I mean, this trend has been uh, starting decades ago where people were having trouble getting jobs with, you know, psychology majors. It wasn't enough. It used to be that you could kind of go to college for anything because college was really a general liberal arts education for people who were, um, you know, well-rounded and maybe well off, I guess you could say. And uh, it was for people who could kind of do that and then they would get jobs and, you know, they'd get certain types of jobs. But now it's kind of turned into this thing where you go to college and it, it used to be that if you just had a college degree, if you just simply had a degree in anything, you could get a higher salary or you'd have an easier time getting a job. But that's totally not true anymore. And people have been sold a bill of goods. You know, there's this myth that if you go to college, you'll be more successful and it's totally not true. And in fact, people who went to trade schools, you know, they used to be looked down on. They're kind of training for right. these menial jobs. Now they're doing better than the people who go to college. Things have turned around. Like in the very recent uh, past, the people that are, look, we're always going to poop. We need the plumbers. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Thank God for them. And I mean, you know, anybody who has a home who's hired one of these fine gentlemen um, knows that they get they get good money per hour to come to your house and uh, fix your little problems, whatever they might be. So, yeah. yeah. Often there's a real peace in doing those kinds of jobs, too, because you can be an in independent contractor today so easily because you can advertise yourself so easily on various ways on the Internet or on radio. Email Brian at freetalklive.com. Uh, I mean, there, there's... <laughs> for, for what? What do you want people to hire you for? <laughs> oh, to advertise. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> but, I mean, independent contractors is really a rising thing. And I think, you know, even if it is a plumber, even if it is just a guy that's got to clean the toilets or something, I think there's more peace in cleaning toilets than working for some, you know, for some corporate, uh, you know, jerk uh, by a long shot or, or even going through all the stuff you have to go through uh, to get one of these 10 worst majors. Well, I've probably worked harder for Free Talk Live than I worked for Clear Channel when I worked there. And we love our Clear Channel stations. Don't mistake a thing I say. Yeah, that's right. But I had an ulcer when I left working there because the, it was, I mean. Wow. Wow. You know, I was in my late 20s, maybe early 30s when I left there. I can't remember exactly, but I worked there for three years or something like that. And I I felt like that guy on the boat that's rowing and there's somebody lashing a whip above our heads. That's the way I felt in the particular, um, you know, now most of this is obviously mental. There was no real whip, but it, that's what it felt like. Yeah, I think a lot of people can relate to that feeling when you're working with someone, working for someone else and they're kind of pressuring you to get certain results and you're doing the best you can, but you still feel that pressure, right? Sure. So, okay, so what are the best and worst college majors? This is actually data that comes from H&R Block. So I guess, you know, people people who pay taxes are going to them <laughs> with uh, data about their income. So they would know, you know, this seems like a pretty reliable source. So uh, the, the best majors, first of all, are uh, business. These are the most in-demand college majors. So business, computer and information sciences, engineering, Health. Okay, Okay. so business, computer, information, sciencing, uh, science. Yep, and then engineering. Well, engineering. Bi real quick, I mean, business, isn't that like the degree that just everybody kind of gets? Or isn't that the major that everybody, like it's the meaningless major, I think that's what I've heard it called. 
I, I feel I that way. I feel like a business um, major teaches you a lot of words, uh, right. you know, um, the, on the margin, uh, you know, and, and like terminology <laughs> that they use. Um, but I don't know that, look, business isn't that complicated. Yeah. You get other people to give you money for the thing that you say you're going to do. That's business. Now, I wouldn't disagree with you if you go to Wharton or wherever it is, whatever business school you go to, that you're making some awesome contacts. Right. And that, you know, big companies are more likely to turn over to you the uh, the reins of power after you've worked your way up a bit. Sure. But, uh, you know, I mean, to some extent, I feel like it's punching your lunch card in order to get to where you're going. Yeah. Not learning the things you need to learn necessarily. Yeah, because like a business major isn't an entrepreneur major, which is maybe what it should be, is it should be cheap teaching entrepreneurship uh instead it's really just teaching some more math and some uh, some lingo maybe uh well that so, can be different the entrepreneurship and, and running a big business can be completely different absolutely. jobs yeah you know there's the guy who sets the business up and then the one who comes in and says okay well you've got this uh, rickety old thing up to light speed let's uh let's get it uh, you know uh you know let's make sure it's it stays together that kind sure of thing. right yeah i mean and i think there's a difference too between business and an accounting uh, major or like a CPA or something. I mean, that's those are people that are needed. Uh, but anyway, so th- that's enough about the business. Yeah, major. I don't really have much perspective on it, quite honestly. But that business is actually the top one as far as the most in demand college majors. It's and in I demand. I assume that means in demand by employers. I would assume the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so then followed by health related professions, uh, math and statistics, and engineering technologies, which I don't know what the difference is between engineering and engineering technologies, but that's what they have listed. Nor I. As the most in demand college majors. Now, what are the college majors with the worst rates of unemployment? Well, uh, topping the list is film slash video and photographic arts. <laughs> you you know what school. I want to do? <laughs> Mom, Dad, you know what I want? I want a degree in making movies. I love that Michael Bay and the way he blows crap up. <laughs> I just, I got to have it. <laughs> Followed uh, in a close second by fine arts, then commercial art and graphic design. Well, hold on. I, I, this, we're going so quickly through here. I had a friend of mine who had one of these uh, movie degrees. Yep. Runs a, uh, a very, very, very successful magazine in Sarasota, Florida. Huh. Well, we'll find out more about this here in moments on Free Talk Live. And if you have thoughts on college or anything else, 855-450-3733. More coming up. This is Free Talk Live. Angioprim can unclog blocked arteries and improve blood flow in all parts of your body. Angioprim is oral chelation. Easy, simple, liquid oral chelation. You take it with juice before breakfast and forget about it. Angioprim works fast, unlike old-fashioned chelation that takes hours. Just log on to angioprim.com. That's angioprim, A-N-G-I-O-P-R-I-M, angioprim.com. Angioprim users say they have more energy, more strength, more endurance. Increased circulation and blood flow will make all your body parts work better. Log on to angioprim.com. Angioprim.com to get more information on how you can get started and start feeling better, having fun, and doing more again. Lots more. Talk to a trained Angioprim consultant. Call Angioprim toll free at 877-882-7221. That's 877-882-7221. Or log on for complete information. Angioprim.com. That's Angioprim.com. Find out how Angioprim can work for you. Get the facts about Angioprim at Angioprim.com. Making the right decisions is a challenge to investors. Are we going to see economic growth, slide into a recession, or at worst, depression? Hi, Ted Anderson from Midas Resources. We all know when a company acts irresponsibly, divesting ourselves in a move towards safety is prudent. When the market becomes volatile, U.S. Treasuries are a safe haven. But what do you do when the U.S. government overextends itself and spends beyond its means? Many investors are turning toward gold as a common-sense alternative to traditional paper investments. Midas Resources has put together a powerful book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, discussing costs, benefits, risks, featuring full-color illustrations, weights, and measures. The book is free and can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. Paper investments are dwarfed by gold's 6,000-year history. Discover how gold may be right for you and your IRA by calling 800-686-2237. Whether buying or it's time for you to sell, the book is free. Call 800-686-2237. Since time began, tyrants have taken aim at personal liberties. Now there's a movie that aims back. The government has no more right to tell us what to put in our bodies than they have to take our guns or tell us what books we can read. 
six drug police were eaten by bears while raiding a marijuana farm. On your knees, you dirty hippies! Jesus. On your knees! What's the problem, officer? Today, many cops who enforce pot laws do so only because it provides them with cushy jobs, good benefits, and a chance to push people around. I was an undercover narcotics officer. The drug war is nothing but a farce. The Second Amendment says you gotta keep you and your gat intact. Guns and Weed, The Road to Freedom. A film by Michael W. Dean and Nima Vidavi. DVD available now at GunsAndWeed.com or on Amazon. That's GunsAndWeed.com. Makes the perfect gift. Remember, that's GunsAndWeed.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Shiny badges on your jacket. Shiny badges. This is Davi Barker from ShinyBadges.com, and I just want to personally apologize for airing a jingle week after week, month after month, that turned out to be such an infectious brain worm. So to make it up to you, I'm offering a free gift. The next time you make a purchase at ShinyBadges.com, write worms in the transaction comments, and I'll send you something weird. What's up next? Visit the Liberty Radio Network program guide to find out at shows.lrn.fm. That's shows.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. And Free Talk Live is live every single night of the week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Although we, you know, the three of us here tonight are not on every single night. Usually it's Mark, Ian, and another co-host. And uh, you can find the archives of all of our old podcasts up at archives.freetalklive.com. They're there for free, so you can go back and listen to all your favorite Sunday shows or all your favorite week weekday shows or just catch up on the last week if you missed it. By the way, uh, in a couple weeks here, at the beginning of October, we're going to be going to Coins in the Kingdom. And Coins in the Kingdom is a Bitcoin conference that's going to be taking place in Disney World in Orlando, Florida. And I'm really excited about this because this is genuinely a community-driven conference. This is going to be really for people who are liberty lovers as well as Bitcoiners. So um, we'd love to have you join us there. And when I say us, all three of us here are going to be at Coins in the Kingdom, right, Mark? Exactly. Yeah, um, me, Ian's going to be out there also, or you know. Mm-hmm. Anyone else from Free Talk Live going? I can't think of anybody else that's going. Okay, well, I will be speaking. Yeah, we will both be speaking. Yeah. You and I, Brian. Uh, we're going to be on some panels. Free Talk Live is going to be broadcasting live. Yep. Free Talk Live is more of a sort of a loose affiliation as opposed to a monolithic organization. It's so true. I didn't it's even true. know that you guys were going necessarily. <laughs> I mean, you know, we come together to do the show, but it's not like we work in some office or anything like that. And, you know, Brian's going to be speaking. Ian and I aren't going to speak. We're not qualified. You know, <laughs> Brian, completely you're... qualified. I think you're totally I'm honored. qualified. Qualified to talk about what? Well, I mean, Go ahead. Now okay. you're on the spot. Okay. What so, am I going to talk about? Free Talk Live was the way that I first heard about Bitcoin back right. in 2011. Here, let me tell you about why Free Talk Live is a, uh, you know, managed to get Bitcoin up off the ground three guys, years ago. You guys know Gavin. Gavin knows Satoshi. So yep. you guys are like two steps away from Satoshi. Yeah, we are. We're two degrees from Satoshi. <laughs> anyway, it's going to be a really fun time. And guess what? This this conference is made for you to be able to have an affordable, really fun weekend vacation Tickets are just $60. Hotel rooms are $99. Kids under 12 go free. And fun is mandatory. It's going to be happening in the Wyndham Lake Buena Vista Resort in downtown Disney. Oh, that's What's beautiful. Downtown Disney. Is Disney downtown like Disney is like this area where there's a lot of shops and, and all oh, that. It's it. not actually the theme park, mm-hmm. but uh, uh, Buena Vista, the lake there, is, is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. We Mark and I both have lived in Florida in the past. Yeah, and it's nice. Um, I, we actually would, uh, a couple of weekends went there to the, uh, the Lake Buena Vista area for you know the, pot, the parties that the... Uh, 
guys and gals that work at Disney oh, uh, would throw. That's awesome. Yeah, but if you get to swim with Cinderella, whoo. <laughs> I would like to do that. <laughs> I'll have to put it on my list for while I'm there. Anyway, we used fake is... names when we went, too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> is Cinderella a stripper or a Cinderella? <laughs> no, no, but Snow White is. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is going to be happening October 4th to October 6th. Going to be a great time. you got to check it out. Go to Coins in the Kingdom dot com for more details and we hope to see you there all right now 855 450 free or 855 450 3733 is our number here on free talk live the pro xpn toll free lines sponsored by our favorite vpn provider pro xpn or you can also call us on skype at lrn.fm and let's talk to david he's calling in on the phone lines listening in south carolina hey david you're on free talk live what's on your mind hi how are you Doing great tonight. What's on your mind? Well, I was back in my boat up here, and I thought it was an interesting topic of discussion. That is the uh, uh, the kids graduating from high school and feeling like they have to go to college. From a parent's perspective, um, 2003, my daughter graduated high school, and it was just one of those things, you know. Okay, now she's supposed to go to college where where her father did not. So, mm-hmm. uh, in her case. In her case, she was very, very driven, very focused, knew exactly what she wanted to do, and and worked very hard to be successful in school, and it paid off. Got another uh, uh, daughter. What do you mean it paid off? What did she end up doing? Well, she was a math major, and I thought that was interesting Mm -hmm. because she got a 4.9 GPA in high school. The only reason she didn't get a 5 was because math was very, very difficult for her, so... Mm -hmm. And when she said she she said she wanted to be a math major, it kind of surprised me because everything else was came simple for her. And to her, if it wasn't challenging, she lost interest. So, as it turned out, she's a, she was a math major, and she wanted to teach other kids who were challenged in math. And so, hats off to her. She's a math teacher in a high school out there in uh, California, and uh, I'm very proud of her. Mm. Got another. Got does another she have kid. debt? I mean, after going to college, like, does she still have student loans? I I made sure she had debt. She had uh, five thousand dollars in debt. I paid for the rest. Mm. I remember correctly. It was I remember correctly. It was around twenty thousand uh, dollars a year, and it took her five years because the schools out there it's just difficult to get the courses you need. So it took five years to get that bachelor's degree. Yeah, mm-hmm. I like the idea of the parent helping, but I would only help a percentage of the way. Maybe maybe seventy five percent or whatever. You know, for every quarter you put in, I'll put in three quarters or whatever it might be. But I want the kid to be as invested in this as I am. Look, if we're making mistakes on your college, uh, you know, your college cho- major choice here, I want you to bear the responsibility of those mistakes because mistakes are so valuable. Life provides you with mistakes, and you, I mean, you know, here's an opportunity to learn. Yeah, I agree with you there. Well, that's why I left her with the five thousand dollar bill. Indeed, I was fortunate in that I could, you know, pay for the rest. But I worked hard for that. I don't have the, uh, the bachelor's degree myself. I stopped at the associate's degree, but uh, mm-hmm. you know, I was just in a position where I could pay for it. But I did want to leave her with some debt. I don't know if she's paying it off now or has paid it off in full already. But uh, I thought that was important to give her some responsibility there. But you know, here's a kid who told me and second, third grade, she wanted to be a teacher, and I kind of laughed and snickered and thought, well, you know, she's going to have to do something else, so she's not going to be able to earn a living wage, Mm. but uh, she's doing fine, and she just kind of looked at me when she got older, Dad, are you going to tell me what to take? And I was like, no, you (laughs) pick what you want to do, but I I Mm. must admit, though, when she said she was going to be a teacher, I kind of thought, wow, I'm going to invest all this money, and she's going to get a... uh, uh, you know, not so well paying job. I think they get paid pretty well out there in the West Coast, but um, she sure straightened me out and she knew she knew better and um, you know, I think she made the right choice. Other kids, not so driven, you know, just kind of a waste of my money and I've and I pulled them out of school because, you know, you wanna, you know, take liberal this and artsy that and sorry, you know, I, mm. you know, you wanna go to community college, I can I can afford those kind of classes, community college. But a four or five year institution, I just can't afford to, 
You know, if you go yep. to party school. And you really got to wonder what uh, parents are thinking uh, or, you know, kids are thinking when they – I know what kids are thinking when they go to university. I remember what I was thinking. I was thinking, let me get out of the house and drink. And, um, you know, I, don't, I didn't want to graduate with a 12-step program. I wanted to graduate um, with a degree. But, you know, there's a lot of temptations that come with university, and it costs so much more. Most communities have a community college that will provide you with an education that is sufficient for that first two years, and you will figure – out, I swear, you will figure out whether or not you need to be there and spend far less money. Yeah, sometimes those artsy classes are even mandatory. I was a science major, and I had to take classes called American Diversity and stuff like that. David, thanks for the call. Glad to hear that uh, the story about your daughter, and good luck to you. Thanks for calling in. This is Free Talk Live. 855-450-3733 is our number here if you want to share your experiences or bring up anything else that's on your mind. 855 450 free. More coming up. Hi, I'm Phil Grandy from Phil's Gang. If you've been nervous about investing in the current stock market, then you need to listen up. Phil's Gang is having a free webinar on Saturday, September 13th. That's going to be at noon Eastern Time. You're going to learn how to invest in this type of market, not just the stock market, but you're going to be investing in yourself. Don't miss it. To sign up, Go to LearnStocksForFree.com. That's LearnStocksForFree.com or call 877-600-4264. If you own a business, you need customers, right? Well, your potential customers are listening to this radio program right now, and I can help you reach them. Hi, I'm Matt Brower, a national marketing executive at the radio network responsible for this program. I can help you customize a national radio campaign that fits your budget, large or small, while targeting your specific audience. Call me to learn how radio advertising can make your business more profitable. 877-996-4327, extension 128. That's 877-996-4327, extension 128. Why did you move to the Shire? I moved here to the Shire because there's other people around who take liberty just as seriously as I do. I moved to the Shire because I saw videos of people challenging authority and thought that I could get support myself. It called to me, like, do this right now. I wanted to be around people like me who got it. And once I got here, I knew there was nowhere else that I wanted to be. I've always wanted to change the world. So I moved to the Shire to join people who were actually working towards doing the same thing. The people here are awesome, loving, and positive. It was for the adventure and for the feeling of something important is happening here, and I just wanted to come to sort of be part of that. Visit ShireSociety.com to read and sign the Shire Society Declaration and learn the reasons why, if you love liberty, you should immigrate to the Shire. Plus, add yourself to the Shire map at ShireSociety.com. That's ShireSociety.com. Have you ever wanted to help a hardworking person get their business off the ground? Then join me in enjoying some BuzzBox coffee. Let's make a difference one cup at a time. Join us in helping people buy their own coffee farms through at least 100 microloans via World Vision. Free Talk Live coffee drinkers will truly change lives forever. To get the best coffee you've ever tasted, it's organic, shade-grown, and top 1% Arabica grade. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. The first pound's free, just cover shipping. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. I've been told no in many different ways. I give you an order and you're going to obey it. Who told you to go this way? You can do that and you have to leave here. You cannot bring time into the rally. Walk with me. Well, I'm, I'm, no, I'm comfortable me. here, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Who do you think you Excuse are? me. There is no video or audio allowed in this office. No, I have work today. This is you ain't going to make it. Wait, no, no. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh my god! Unbelievable! Why are you running from me? Because you scared me! What am I being detained for? You're being served. What is this? You're being served. What is this? 
Democrats have a funny way of telling people no. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Derek J's Victimless Crime Spree. Watch it for free and order the Director's Cut DVD at VictimlessCrimeSpree.com. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. You can call us at 855-450-3733. Bring up anything that's on your mind. We have been talking about, you know, college and the usefulness of various college majors. What or people, lack thereof. Or or lack thereof, <laughs> yeah. Or, I mean, I, I don't like to frame it so much in terms of berating people for choosing certain college majors or saying they're making a poor choice, but rather, you know, like... It, it it can benefit you to maybe think about it a little bit more. And you don't have to go to college. It's not mandatory. There are other alternatives out there that maybe would make you happier in your life. Lots of them. There's no doubt about it. And, I mean, you know, it's, it's one of those situations where you have to look at uh, what are you getting. Because if, as far as I'm concerned, if you do not get... The, if you do not use your degree, if you're not in a field where your degree is one that uh, is valuable, then or, you know, useful or necessary, then you wasted your money. I, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean here. And yes, there's things like and, and your time. I mean, you can go back and ex post facto justify it and say, oh, I well, I learned a lot about this and that. Okay, was it worth four years of your time and this much money, or however many, however long it took? It's also an indication in my book of bad learning habits because. Um, you know, I mean, yes, when you're sitting in a classroom, that's sort of the normal way that one learns. But today on the Internet, all the information you want to do anything is right there. It's and so true. at this point, colleges truly are only selling sheepskins. And if you need a sheepskin to do whatever it is you want to do, I understand you need a sheepskin to do what you need to do. That's the way the world is. And let's go ahead and get that sheepskin. But you you can learn anything you truly want to learn from the internet. Uh, I mean, and and that's the end of that story. So what you're saying is is that I can only learn in this one environment, um, and I don't think that's acceptable. Really, that's that's not that wouldn't in, inspire me as an employer when it came to an employee. Well, if we're giving out tips when going to college, and you're going to be ended up going on the internet. You want a VPN because you know what you're going to do <laughs> when you go to college and you're going to want to encrypt what you do when you go to college. You're not going to want to share that around or have it in the wide open Internet. I have no idea what you're talking about. Either t He's either talking about watching porn or downloading movies illegally. Okay. Or, or even or taking some wild pictures or sending some, uh, you know, some messages maybe. Kids, don't take pictures of that stuff. Um, yeah. Whatever it is, don't, <laughs> don't get in the picture. You hide your face, wear a big hat, whatever it is. I, look, I understand it's all fun and games, but that stuff comes back. It, it, it's not useful to have those pictures. It's true, but listen, if you're trashed, believe me, ProXPN is here to protect you. It's here to protect your <laughs> smartphone, your computer. You pick the device, okay? ProXPN, it offers it's a VPN service that will encrypt all the data and metadata that you send up before it gets to the ISPs, before it gets to any part, any any party that, uh, or, you know, somebody that, uh, that, that could use this perhaps against you in a way. Uh, and so you want this, believe me, because your ISPs in particular, they're going to hold some of that info for five years. Just, just imagine that that picture picture that you took could be out there for five years to be used against you when you go to get hired somewhere. You want ProXPN. So go to ProXPN.com, get the VPN service, virtual private network. It works across the world, wherever you happen to be. Uh, it's really, really handy. It is great for your privacy. It is step one for getting real privacy back in your digital world, which, of course, affects your analog world. And it's for Windows, Mac, iOS, Android, even Linux. Uh, and if, if you use the code FTL50... 
Okay, use the code FDL50. You'll get 50% off an annual premium account that you go there. It's going to end up costing you less than a cup of coffee a month. Uh, or you can use the code FTLBTC and you'll get 62% off that, pre that annual premium account if you pay with Bitcoin. That's BTC stands for Bitcoin. So a lot of options here for you, but it's options that will save your butt from embarrassing moments. Believe me, pro XPN. All right. Let's go back to the phones here on Free Talk Live, where you can call us at 855-450-3733. That is, of course, the ProXPN toll-free call-in lines for you. Or on Skype at lrn.fm on Skype. Let's go back to the phones and talk to Al listening in Maine. Hey, Al, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind tonight? The colleges in America are places of darkness. Places of As darkness. Is the, mm -hmm. entire, the entire country. If you were to look at Earth... From outer space, you would see that the light has gone out over much of the Earth. And it exists, it depends on what your purpose in life is. If it's monetary, this is the American mentality. You speak in terms of everything as money. Will this bring me enough profit? Will I become richer and materially more wealthy? And in the process, the soul is destroyed purpose of man's life is to perfect the soul. Now, what source of education, where will you look for truth that perfects your soul? I would you look on the internet. <laughs> I would get a backpack and start it. walking. Yes. Well, one place to, to uh, begin is uh, the concept of freedom. We all say that man's life will be in... in uh, Enhanced by freedom. Now, we are very free people, are we not? I think that uh, I, I think ways. humans are born in uh, born with a desire to be free, if that's what you're asking me. Do I think this country is particularly free? Um, I think that there's a lot of improvement that can be made. Well, compared to other, other places on Earth uh, in other times in history. Okay, be yep. Very, but yet there's not uh, not satisfaction. We have divorce. We have the highest incarceration rate. So the concept of liberty is a difficult one to define it. Now, there's a very great book written called America Set Free, and I would recommend it especially to the good doctor who is a doctorate in biochemistry. Because once you read this, it's a rather large book, about 500 pages, but it discusses the real root of America's problems, how it will attain true freedom, and what is the source of education that you need for it. Does it talk and about eliminating it's... governments? No. Then it's off the mark. That, that's, that is the error. That is the error. The idea... First, you have to realize that everything in America is illusion. Everything is backwards. I would agree with that. You might think. Conservatism, if you look even on, you said the good doctor said she'd look on the Internet. Well, she goes to the Wikipedia article on conservatism, and it says, word by word, conservatism in America is what is known as liberalism in Europe. It is the conservatives in America are leftists, Paul Ryan, and that's small government, human rights, individual rights, economic liberalism to be to do be free with your money and to do as you please. This is the left. This is liberalism that came out of the French Revolution, the disaster which was the French Revolution. Now. Since we're talking about, let's talk about something What's, the deepest. Who's the author could, of America Set Free? It was a uh, philosopher by the name of Kaiserling. K E Y S E R L I N G. It's a most enlightening book. So, but but it doesn't uh, talk about. It doesn't say that we need to get rid of government. No, indeed, I mean, because how can not. people how can people be free if other people are ruling over other people? Because that's really all government is. Excellent question. Because if I ask people in America, we're, the libertarian movement is not unique in saying that it wants freedom. Everyone would say that, would they not? The Democrats. Yeah, I think everybody public. thinks they do. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the definition. But if I were to ask them, what is freedom? 
they would have a difficult time. And then there's a philosophy. Well, libertarians can answer that question. Freedom is uh, All right. the ability to do what you want without harming others. You may not commit force, fraud, um, and you must uh, sort of adhere to your word. Yeah, that's one definition. That's the definition uh, among the libertarians. Yes. And yet Mort Mortimer Adler, the philosopher, wrote a book about liberty. It's a thousand pages. Well, Al, we're you gonna have to talk about make... that another time. We're up against the clock. Thank you for calling in and for the book suggestion. I'm probably gonna need a little more of a uh, executive summary to. Uh, uh, I think if it. you need a thousand pages, you don't know liberty. This is Free Talk Live eight five five four five zero three seven three three. This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, health care, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on Liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at Liberty.me. I love being a member of Liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. My Moms of America, stand up and stop taking abuse from your kids. I pledge never to let my kid disrespect me ever again. I pledge to stop letting my daughter walk all over me. I pledge to stop living in fear of my son's anger. I pledge never to feel like a bad parent ever again. Because I'm not. I pledge to stop letting my child's behavior control my home. I pledge to be a mom with kids who listen. A total transformation mom. I'm Janet Lehman, co-creator of the Total Transformation Program. We created the Total Transformation to help parents with difficult child behavior. Now I'm giving it away free. All you need to do is get the program and let us know how it works for you. We'll let you keep it for free. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. Call now. Call 1-800-256-7795. That's 1-800-256-7795. Do you know the difference between erudite and pedantic? If you do, you're probably pedantic. But seriously, a surprising number of erudite people mispronounce erudite, which has three syllables, not four. Say erudite, not erudite. Because you are judged by how you speak, you want to avoid common misstatements, especially if you're a job seeker. For instance, do you know the difference between imply and infer? Only a speaker can imply. Only a listener can infer. And when you say you'll be out of pocket, do you mean out of touch? Out of pocket means you're on your own dime, not yet reimbursed. And if anyone ever asks... Why do you always answer a question with a question? You should reply, do I do that? Just kidding. From survivalspeech.com, I'm Holland Cook. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at lrn.fm? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the Internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at lrn.fm. That's lrn.fm. Ross Ulbricht was arrested by the FBI in 2013 and charged with victimless crimes in relation to allegedly operating the Bitcoin-based Silk Road black market. He has been in a prison cell awaiting trial ever since. If he did it, he's a hero for making the black market a safer place. If he did not, he's a man wrongfully accused. Either way, if you love freedom and want to end the war on drugs, Ross and his family need your support. You can learn more and help fund his defense at freeross.org. That's freeross.org. You can watch the LRN Studio Cam and chat with other listeners anytime at cam.lrn.fm. That's cam.lrn.fm.
This is Free Talk Live. Welcome back to the show. It's me, Stephanie, with you. And Brian. And Mark. Our phone number here tonight is 855-450-3733. That is the ProXPN toll-free call in line. And you're welcome to call and bring up anything that's on your mind tonight. 855-450-3733. We'll talk to you about uh, pretty much anything here on Free Talk Live. That's why we call it Free Talk Live. And uh, we do have a phone call on the line, gentlemen. Shall we go to the phones? That's what we do here on Free Talk Live. We take telephone calls. <laughs> <laughs> Tom is listening in New Hampshire. Hey, Tom, you're on Free Talk Live. Yeah, I'm uh, looking at the news websites there uh, about how uh, Hong Kong is going to be electing a president, or I should say some people in Hong Kong are going to be electing a president, and the uh, bureaucrats in Beijing say, hold it, before any candidate can run uh, for that office, they have to be approved by the uh, big shots in Beijing. Okay, they're going to go through the uh, approval process, and then they can run and get elected. But we don't want them electing somebody we don't like. And this is a big scandal about how it's anti-democracy. And, of course, gang rape is a democracy where five persons say yes and one person says no, and the majority rules. So, well, you know, yeah, the one I've heard is two wolves and a sheep democracy. deciding on dinner, but sure, you could make that analogy, yeah, but, too. But, but uh, so democracy isn't all, all that good, I think. But even so, uh, it I leave notes on the comments section about it's kind of like in the USA, where if you're a uh, Democrat or a Republican, you need a handful of signatures on a paper, but you've got to get thousands and thousands more if you're a libertarian. Yeah, it's uh, it's really tough for third parties um, in America, and and the reason is essentially the duopoly. The, the the two parties have decided, look, we can't agree on too much. But one thing we do agree on is we don't like third parties. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so they get all these rules passed that essentially say, look, if you if your party hasn't performed to this level in the last. Four years, then you have to get all 20,000, 100,000, 120,000 signatures, and then you can play in the uh, the big kid sandbox or whatever. And what it successfully and does is gives us far fewer choices. And the excuse for that, by the way, uh, uh, a few years ago during a presidential primary, I called up Congressman Ron Paul's office. He was one of the Republicans running for president. And I pointed out, you know, this is one of his issues, too, by the way, uh, the excuse for not uh, requiring so many, uh, if they didn't require all these thousands and thousands of signatures, you might come up with 30 candidates on the ballot. And uh, I mentioned that there were 30 Republicans running for president in the New Hampshire primary. And what you do then is you go down there and you you get the ballot with 30 names on it, and you pick your favorite one, and you vote for that one, and we survived. So, you know, it's not like there's uh, any validity to that excuse that you know, there would be too many candidates if they didn't require all those signatures. Yep. Yeah. I don't really see much of a point in voting in general. I mean, you're not really going to make a difference. It seems on the, like the localist level, I, I don't mind. But those are the places where you're going to have fewest people running. I'm running right now as a delegate to the state convention for the Republican Party. And, oh, uh, seriously? And, yeah, Sorry to hear that, Mark. I, I do. Uh, I, I did it. Two years ago, I did it again. Um, yeah, again and this year. you know what? I remember talking to you about it two years ago, and you said it. You felt like it was wa- it wasted um, your day. You had to go whole day. drive yeah. somewhere, be really bored, eat a crappy lunch. The and- crappy lunch. I'm packing a lunch this time. And <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> but, th- but this time so I, things are going to be different, Mark. Well, I think I've learned a few things about how to go about it. Right, like I arrive at a different time. I don't have to listen to the, just the political uh, big fat liars talk as much. Uh, make what, the votes. What are you hoping to accomplish? Out of this change the party platform for the republican party and and what would that do for your freedom in your life it is going to send a message to uh, the people who are in the republican party the representatives and that kind of thing that the republican party is changing here in new hampshire that it's not the we hate gays and um you know we support the military party here in new hampshire that it's an entirely different party and i'd like to point out that the republican party in new hampshire is the one that voted against state police militarization um, and, and, you know, department militarization of police. And I think that makes our Republican Party significantly different. I think that they're infiltrated and didn't filled with to, liberty-oriented Didn't folks. you try to change the platform last time? Yeah, it was about to... 27 votes shy. Okay. And so that was just the platform on uh, marriages between one man and one woman. Wow. How would you have felt that about that, like Tom? a lot of headache. Go ahead, if Tom. I, if I can explain. Yeah, it's about uh, 
the uh, the anti-liberty people have this flawed line of reasoning that says, well, you elected those people, and that's one category. It's your own fault if you voted for them. And then, well, shame on you if you didn't even bother to vote. Don't bother griping. Okay, that's the second category, but then there's that third category, and they ignore it. But, hey, we have every right to you know, point out, hey, we voted against them. It's not our fault. So we, we cover all of that, and they ignore that third category because it doesn't suit their purpose. You know, the facts do not support their I think argument. They're going to ignore so, you either way. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah, at least you have the answer. You did your part. You ran for that uh, office, and uh, you uh, did your part. Well, it's, what are we supposed to do? Clone ourselves so we can be more us on election day than the crazy people? Forget it. You know, we're not doing that. Well, yeah, thanks for the call, Tom. But, you know, I don't think. I don't think you have any obligation to spend your precious time. Life is short, you know, spend it in the ways that make you happy. Sure. Not sitting there and doing these political gymnastics, you know, trying to get the platform changed or, I mean, Mark, I feel sad for you hearing this. Like you're going to be wasting another weekend. You're going to be stressed out afterwards. It's probably going to raise your blood pressure. It'll do those things. Uh, There's no doubt about it, but you have to consider that the, I move here for the Free State Project not to find more liberty for me, because I can I can do that relatively easy at this point. What I could, however, um, what I want is I want more liberty as an option for other people. And I don't have the time to do the state rep thing, and I couldn't get elected with my murder charge anyway. So the best I can do is run as a delegate to the state convention and put my little bit of time in there. But, I, you know, I mean, things have changed in New Hampshire when we when the Free Staters had their big rush in 2010. They brought down the tax rate by 12 percent. That's a quantifiable. The, ta- for, the tax rate of zero was brought down by 12 percent. I would. What are you talking about? The state budget? State. Yeah, the state budget. The, OK, the, you know, so the, the tax just to be clear, the tax rate, the sales tax and income tax for personal individuals is zero in New Hampshire. That right. can't be brought down much further. Property taxes, and there's a state portion of the property taxes, were brought down. And, I mean, you probably didn't see a big difference because I the state portion that. isn't that large. But you probably aren't – you're probably just getting the bill and saying, I hate these people. Anyway, when you get it – and so, you know, I mean, but it's a quantifiable difference. It's less government burden, and I'm willing to spend a little time to see that happen. I mean, that's – I mean, that's okay, my goal. That sounds nice and everything, but are you seriously saying that you don't want liberty for yourself? Like, I mean, ourselves are the things that we have the most control over. Our own lives are the things that we can influence and make meaningful changes in. And like, you can try to sound altruistic and stuff, but I do want liberty for myself. And and I think I can get it more easily than I can get it for I can set everyone else free. Maybe people who don't even want to be set free or don't even want my help. I think one has to define what freedom means uh, for them, precisely what it means. Yeah, and the political stuff affects my life little. I mean, I'm not going to say zero because it is nice to not pay state income taxes or sales taxes or whatever. Uh, and it's nice to live in New Hampshire where there are fewer cops and so forth and out kind of in the woods where you get left alone. But uh, most of the other stuff that has the most influence on my personal freedom are things that have nothing to do with the government. Things that I oh, I and only I can control. Sure. The people that are my best friends yep. and the people I see the most often. The job that I do, yep. w- where I go to work, you know, what I do for work and where I live, you know, my But those situation. are the things that people are changing for themselves generally anyway. Like the average person says, you know, like I have freedom over my job. I have freedom over the people I hang out with. Um, and they, they understand that. And those are the, you know, as, as life goes by, they put aside things like high school and it's nonsense and say, hey, you know what? I'm sick. And tired of appeasing jerks that are going to be losers in life, and I'm going to instead. Um, well, if you're sick and tired me. of appeasing jerks, then don't participate in the political system. I the, refuse to give it any of my consent. I experimented with politics when I first I know. came here. You know, for a couple of years, I tried to actually go and lobby the state house and give speeches and stuff like that. And we're, it didn't get me anywhere except really frustrated and feeling like I wasted a lot of time. And just after seeing that, I wanted no part in it afterwards. And I'm glad that I decided that because my life is better for it. The process is slow and arduous. But b- consider that whatever the alternatives are, are not particularly uh, useful either. So I don't disagree. No, I think I, the alternatives are incredibly useful. Okay. Spending your time and money on things that increase your personal freedom, mm-hmm. 
that's totally useful. That's what people well, are doing, and the government's growing. I, I think, you know, I understand that there's people who feel like, yeah, I want to make more freedom, safe for my children into the future and all this stuff. I, I get a lot of that. But I think that if, if energies were spent on things that weren't so incremental, if that time was taken to think of something really you know, like never been tried before, never thought of before, because no one's taken the time to think about it because they're too busy doing these other actions that have been tried for hundreds of years. Maybe we get somewhere really, really fast. That's just central planning. <laughs> what do you think? Where do you fall on the spectrum of concentrating on political versus personal freedom? This is Free Talk Live. Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Themes radio show. The Internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Theme Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F-E-E-N-P-H-O-N-E dot com. The Lumber Liquidators Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is on with over 250 of the latest styles all on sale now. Get black forest oak laminate for a crazy 39 cents a square foot. Beautiful and durable bamboo for just $159. Classic pre-finished gunstock oak hardwood for $149. All gorgeous Bella Wood pre-finished hardwood is on sale. Plus get special 24-month financing. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday the 2nd. The fall flooring season is here. Why aren't you? 35% of U.S. credit accounts are facing collection agencies. Of that 35, almost 40% are the result of medical bills. Before uninsured friends or family go in for medical treatment, send them to AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. No computer tracing, no tracking cookies. They will not go on a list. Privacy matters. Just tell us what you need. Get a quote. Fractions of U.S. prices. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. DVD, books, music, instruments, periodicals, computers, software, electronics, photo, cell phone, office products, home and garden, bed and bath, furniture, kitchen, pet supplies, automotive, hardware, apparel, shoes, jewelry, grocery, healthcare, sports and outdoors, toys, games, used and more. It's a department store at your fingertips. Shop.freetalklive.com. Get all your shopping done. Get a great deal. And a portion of your purchase goes to benefit Free Talk Live when you enter Amazon via shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number two is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. From Keene in the Shire, the Liberty Media Capital of the World, this is Daryl W. Perry, host of FPP Radio News for Sunday, August 31st, 2014. Silver is trading at $19.48 per ounce. Gold is valued at $1,287 per ounce. And according to BitcoinAverage.com, the average price of Bitcoin is $493. Antiwar.com reports, the move by Al-Qaeda's Jabhat al-Nusra against UN monitors in the Golan Heights picked up pace yesterday when they attacked the Rwanda base where 40 of the Philippines' 75 troops were. Irish troops, who were part of a UN raid response, were sent in to rescue them, and all 75 of the troops from the Philippines are now reported to have crossed into neighboring Israeli territory. There were unconfirmed reports of people killed in the fighting, though the Filipino government maintains that there were no casualties at all. 44 Fijian troops, previously captured by al-Nusra, remain unaccounted for and held in an unknown location. UN officials condemned the detention and demanded the immediate release of those from Fiji, though there is no indication that is going to happen, especially after the fighting with other UN forces in the area. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Bitcoin Not Bombs. Bitcoin Not Bombs is a launching pad for nonprofits and social entrepreneurs into the financial freedom of the Bitcoin economy. Bitcoin Not Bombs is fully committed to being the hub of the nonprofit sector of the Bitcoin economy, maximizing the potential cross promotion of all our clients and commercial partners. To learn more, visit bitcoinnotbombs.com. 
The UK Guardian reports the Polish Prime Minister Donald Tusk is expected to become the co-leader of the European Union when the EU government chiefs meet to decide who will head the Union for the next five years. Tusk, a leading EU hawk on the Kremlin and crisis in Ukraine, is set to become the second president of the European Council, the top official who chairs EU summits and mediates between the 28 governments. He has come under strong pressure over the past week to accept the post and signaled on Friday that he would take the job if there was a consensus behind him. The difficulty Tusk has is that he speaks no French and only poor English. French is the language of the summits and is also essential in representing the EU abroad and to the media. Gazeta Waburska, the leading Polish daily newspaper, reported that his wife was keen on the move to Brussels and it would mean more money, more prestige, and more time off. The 28 leaders were to meet in Brussels late last night to decide on the top job and appoint a new EU foreign policy chief to replace Britain's Catherine Ashton, who was the first holder of the post. She is almost certain to be replaced by Federica McGarney, the Italian foreign minister, who has been pushed strongly by Matteo Renzi, the Italian prime minister, and backed by the EU's social democratic leaders. FPP Radio News is brought to you by Roberts and Roberts Brokerage. For over 35 years, Roberts and Roberts has been a trusted source for buying and selling your investment grade precious metals. They now take Bitcoin for purchasing precious metals so you can turn your profits into a long term investment. Call Roberts and Roberts today for knowledgeable advice on investing. 800 874 9760. Reuters reports Lesotho's Prime Minister Thomas Tabane on Saturday accused his country's army of staging a coup against him and then fled to neighboring South Africa, which condemned the military's actions and called for a peaceful settlement. Early morning gunfire was heard in Masura, the capital of the small southern African kingdom encircled by South Africa. Residents and diplomats of Lesotho said that army units occupied police headquarters and surrounded the prime minister's home. Hours after the army's move, the capital was reported to be quiet, but it was not immediately clear who was running the government of the mountainous state of two million people. Tabane, who in June dissolved parliament to avoid a no-confidence vote against him amid feuding of his two-year-old coalition government said he had crossed over to South Africa because he feared for his safety. Tabane told Reuters, there was clearly an effort to launch a coup, saying he was at his daughter's home in South Africa. He added, we are taking concrete steps to nip this in the bud, adding that the regional South African development community was addressing the situation. South Africa, speaking on behalf of the SADC, condemned the actions of the Lesotho military, which it said, bear the hallmarks of a coup d'etat. Clayson Manyela, the spokesman for the South African Foreign Ministry, said, Any any unconstitutional change of government shall not be tolerated. This has been FPP Radio News, online at fppradio.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. Apparently oblivious of the dismal fiscal climate, local dog Digby is wolfing down kibble as if the United States isn't in a gut economic crisis. Sources say the shockingly selfish four-year-old German shepherd appears callously unswayed by the constant stream of gloomy market forecasts and continues gorging on brand name pet foods, milk bones, and table scraps as if the U.S. unemployment rate hasn't been above 8% for the past three f***ing years. Here we are tightening our belts while this dog starves on bowl after bowl like the Dow Jones Industrial Average has gone through the goddamn roof or something. you think that he'd think twice since U.S. credit rating's been downgraded, but Digby doesn't give a damn. Ain't that right, Digby? You don't give a flying f do you? The Onion solemnly bids farewell to the 22 crew members who perished during the production of today's Week in Review. You will be missed. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live. It's the live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. Freetalklive.com is our website where you can find on the front page of uh, freetalklive.com a mm, news service. It's sort of a crowd uh, crowdsourced news, uh, I don't know, blog. 
you can submit your favorite articles to the front page right there at freetalklive.com. People will vote them up or vote them down depending on how much they like your article. And the most popular ones make it to the top of the page. So it's always kind of an interesting place to find news stories that may be of interest to freedom-loving folks over at freetalklive.com. And our number here tonight on Free Talk Live, where you can call about anything that's on your mind, is 855-450-3733. Or on Skype, lrn.fm. And those phone lines, of course, sponsored by ProXPN, our favorite VPN provider. Let's go right to the phones as we kick off the second hour of tonight's show. Dave is listening in Concord, New Hampshire, and he wants to talk about going to college. Hey, Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how you guys doing? You know, there's one thing that uh, people tend to miss when they talk about going to college, uh, people from the outside. You know, it's not all sitting in classes. There's a lot of labs to be had. Um, and those labs often have equipment or chemicals or, uh, you know, whatever, things like that, that you as an individual would not be able to find outside of the college to get the experience with them that you need. Sure, if you're going into a field where you're going to be working with um, electrical equipment or lab chemicals or whatever. Exactly, but then there are other areas, for instance, in psychology or sociology, where you learn how to um, do certain or... Do what? I'm sorry, there was uh, some kind of... uh, Audio glitch. Audio thing. Uh, It was an art therapy, and she had experience with certain patients um, as part of her master's program. You could not do that if you just walked to some place that was doing psychology uh, said, hey, I'd like to try this, and they'd laugh. Sure, yeah. Dave, I mean, we're having a lot of uh, audio yeah. problems here. Um, so, yeah, let's let's address the difference between a, a bachelor and um, a master's. Here, yeah, Dave, I think that's thanks really for important. your call. I'm going to let you go because of these audio problems, but I do appreciate bringing that up one of the i mean i'm only talking about a bachelor's degree here and sometimes you need a bachelor's degree in order to go get the master's degree i'm not going to argue that point um by any stretch of the imagination and like i say i think scientists probably do need to go to college um but there are a lot of degrees that's it's just it's not what's necessary to go to school i met a lot of people with marketing degrees in the radio ad sales field that You know, I, as a guy who was relatively fresh out of prison and working at a gym lifting weights, uh, was able to do with uh, the same or more alacrity. So it's not like that marketing degree did them any good. There's a lot of crappy paper being sold as degrees um, in this country, and I think that's what we're (laughs) discussing. I don't think that colleges should all be burned to the ground and that we should step into a new dark age in order to uh, reach uh, the the enlightenment. That's not what my (laughs) claim is here. Sure. You know, I I would debate a little bit, though, the idea that that some things can only be done at college. Uh, I think some of the biggest advancements that are happening are coming from the fact that a lot of this lab equipment that you're that was mentioned is getting open sourced and is getting put into maker spaces where people can get into there with a very small fee uh, mm-hmm. and not have any kind of formal education. And yet they're changing the world. That's an uh, interesting point. Yeah. In fact, what? I know people that that are like running their own businesses and they don't have any PhDs or anything of that nature. And they're doing some of the highest science that we can get in the land. Yeah. In fact, I know a, a biomedical science. He actually sequenced the cannabis indica and sativa genomes right. and uh, he doesn't have a PhD. He's a he's a as good a scientist as you could possibly imagine. Yeah, uh, to but some does degree. Not have a PhD. Sure, and to some degree, science needs to almost go underground because regulation, government regulation, and it's true. I mean, to do a lot of things, yes, because of the the you know the the uh, government education complex that ex- that exists out there okay <laughs> i like that yeah uh you have i think it's hard it's a hard to, term to, to argue with right uh you do have to where this is the only legal place to practice this kind of stuff and yes there's inherent dangers of not following rules and not getting perhaps you know uh, a certain education that um you know of, of safety and whichever else i get that but at the same time the real advancements that maybe need to be made cannot be made because of regulation mm-hmm. uh and so so I think, I mean, maybe you still have to go to, to college to, to get that education, but I really, I think that's by and large changing and no longer is it true that that's necessary. 
you know, yeah, it's really... Colleges need to compete or die, and the problem is, is they're getting a lot of government subsidies. Yeah, there's no competition. Yeah. yeah, they are. It's really interesting for me, personally, because I have these, these sort of two different perspectives. I always said when I was a young teenager and people started to ask me, well, what do you want to do for a living? I always sort of said, oh, well, I'd like to be on the radio. I'd like to be, you know, even an actor. I'd like to work with my voice or something like that. So I had this idea of that I wanted to do basically what I'm doing now. But adults responded to that with, well, no, you shouldn't do that. You'll never make money at it. You should go into science. You're good at science. You should yep. do that. You'll be successful that way. And I took that advice to heart. But you're also really driven. And I think to some extent, like you went in and slayed the heart of the dragon for yourself to prove that it could be done. Like you went into the man's world and said, <laughs> look at me. I'm the, among the youngest, mm. smartest, uh, most capable people that you've got here. And I'm a woman. And like. Like I, you know, like I've got huge respect for that, but you know, at the same time, it's a, well, clearly yeah, not the thing that makes you happy. But sure, that's a great point. But then the question becomes: What? I don't believe that. I mean, yes, some people have a stronger drive than others, but I think everybody has a drive of some kind. And what's for killing what they love? That, yeah, and what's killing that drive? None other than public school, in yeah. my opinion. Well, this uh, brings it you know, back and, to the point that I wanted to make originally, which was that I basically have these two different, very different experiences. One was going to undergraduate and graduate school for biochemistry and getting my PhD in biochemistry. That was the academic path, right, where I did all the labs. And I mean, I volunteered in, in laboratories and learned a lot about research that way and getting my hands wet and actually doing the scientific experiments. I learned a lot that way but a lot of it was very structured and academic and like the formal like we're going to mm -hmm. teach you this hands-on experience as part of your coursework and then i have this other experience that i was actually kind of doing at the same time of teaching myself how to use audacity for podcasting teaching myself how to put together a podcast listening to other people's podcasts and radio shows being on Free Talk Live, it's almost like an internship. I mean, like sure. I learned how to run Free Talk similar. Live <laughs> from Ian and it was you know, it's totally like an internship and it and I taught myself uh voiceover. I taught myself how to set up a studio in my house. You know, nobody gave me a course on that. I learned it myself and I figured it out from the internet. And so both of those are things that kind of gave me hands-on experience doing things that I would need to do quote in real life. But I learned them very different ways. One was extremely structured. The other was very unstructured and almost like unschooling. So, you know, Free Talk Live in a way and teaching myself voiceover has been like my unschooling internship in the world of radio and You can do whatever acting. at this point the internet is the, you know, the, it's this the, it, it's the Library of Alexandria brought to your living room or bedroom or wherever it basement, wherever you happen to be, you can learn whatever you want there. Yeah, indeed. And and they're both valid ways of learning. That's the whole point of what I wanted to say, I guess, is that like both of those are valid ways of learning things, and they both teach you stuff. It's just how do you want to go about it? Do you but one's significantly more expensive, right? Like, yeah. So I've, uh, you know, I, I've thought about going back to school and getting a degree. The reason is simply to be able to say, you know, what I have, I have a master's in history from Dartmouth, <laughs> <laughs> because I can study whatever history I want to study by simply buying books from Amazon or whatever. And I, I know that people can use the eBooks. I'm just not that interested in them. Um, but I would prefer to have a paper book. I can buy these books and read this stuff on my own and, and know as much, if not more, than any history person. Because, by the way, when it comes to history, y you, you study the books you study, you know the books that you know, mm -hmm. and then other people disagree with you on the same yeah. issues. If, even if they <laughs> were talking about the same time period, yeah. you know, this happened, no, it didn't, that happened. Well, history Crazy is kind stuff. of, he said, she said. It is a, a lot of that. sense. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so what was the line of thinking on that, Mark? Did you, have you decided if you're going to go back to school and do that? or I do you keep think on entertaining can, the ideas. Do you think you're just going to keep reading and just I'll, say. Gonna, I'm certainly going to do that. You can say you have an honorary PhD from the school of Stephanie. <laughs> no, thank <laughs> you. Right, you can just make up your own degree. <laughs> 855-450-3733. Should Mark go back to college so he can party and drink 855-450-3733? <laughs> 
This is Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, and I've got something awesome to share with you. I've recently joined Liberty.me. It's an online city devoted to people who love liberty. Break free of the flame wars and bridge-dwelling denizens of Facebook. You deserve better. You deserve a friendly, ad-free social network where you can chat 24 hours a day with like-minded souls around the world. Attend live interactive classes with experts on economics, finance, politics, and money. Access a vast library of books and discuss them with your reading group. Better your life with exclusive self-help guides on investing, self-defense, homeschooling, security, health care, saving money, and starting a business. Become a libertarian luminary yourself and get paid in the process by publishing your works on Liberty.me. Get tipped via PayPal and Bitcoin. The first step towards freedom is to invest in yourself. Start your free 30-day trial now at Liberty.me. I love being a member of Liberty.me and I think you will too. The first month is free. Sign up and say hello. Adam Miller here with Midas Resources. Today, August 29th, 2014, gold opened at 1287.60. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1334.47, 667.23 for a half ounce, or 333.62 for a quarter ounce. That's 1334.47, 667.23, and 333.62. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver are going up while Congress is trying to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. Free Talk Live. Are you saying there's something wrong with a gay couple adopting children? Absolutely. What is? What could possibly be wrong about that? then the children are going to be raised by queers instead of by, uh, you know... You are homophobic, aren't you, Tom? <laughs> no. So. But anyway... What's wrong with them being raised by gay people? Because gay people are unfit to raise children. Oh, How dare I, you? I object a lot. I had a friend who was adopted by uh, gay parents, uh, and he grew up just fine with completely normal values and sure. he's a very normal functioning member of society i've met plenty of gay people in my time who i thought would make fantastic parents and would be far better parents than many of the white trash parents that are out there raising kids today tom do you know any gay people i uh, i try not to but yeah well that is. figures and you're about done thanks for the call free talk live seven nights a week from seven to ten eastern live on the liberty radio network at lrn.fm the three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. It's my firm belief that Free Talk Live's AMP program is the best use of your charitable dollar among liberty-oriented organizations. Support all the organizations you love. But make sure you give five bucks a month to AMP at amp.freetalklive.com. Hi, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. The internet has lowered the cost barrier for a worldwide radio show to a price approaching zero. Yet there is one arena where you still need thousands of dollars to approach the audio quality of the corporate media. Doing a live spoken show with more than one host in different geographic locations. Our program, Fiend Phone, will solve that problem and it will be given away free. Go to fiendphone.com to see what you can do to help. That's F-E-E-N-P-H-O-N-E dot com. You're listening to the best Liberty-oriented audio streamed around the clock, on the air, and online. This is the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night show. 855-450-FREE is the number to call if you want to get in touch with us and bring up anything that's on your mind. 855-450-3733 or lrn.fm on Skype. And it's me, Stephanie, with you. And Brian. And Mark. Brian just dropped something. But I'll tell you what he drops every week. 
his podcast. Brian is a that's <laughs> Brian right. has his own technology podcast. I drop it while it's hot. It's called, <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> it's called Sovereign Tech. That's S O V R Y N Tech dot com to get more of Brian and his podcast. You may even hear me doing some uh, guest appearances. You on were there. just on this week. I sure uh, was. And a lot of people said it, it was an amazing episode, particularly the last segment. Well, you'll have to listen to find out at SovereignTech.com. You can get My Magic Mud at MyMagicMud.com. And I love this stuff. Stephanie, I, I gave you a, a little yes. tub of it. What, Do what, my teeth look jar? whiter already? Well, I, I always thought your teeth looked white anyway, so I guess I wasn't <laughs> paying that close attention. But you're probably the best one to answer that question. Do you, your teeth look whiter? I don't know, but they feel good. They feel okay. really smooth and polished. That's uh, what I've been focusing on most. I haven't really looked at the color. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it, it certainly um, does that sort of polishing thing and makes them feel in- entirely different than toothpaste used to make my teeth feel. Yeah, it's, it's also good for people that have kind, sensitivity. I'm sorry. There's something that's kind of fun about smearing this black paste on your teeth, <laughs> and it looks so dirty and grimy and gross. But then you rinse it out and your teeth feel just amazingly clean. <laughs> yeah, if you go to the website, MyMagicMud.com, you can uh, see an interview there with biological dentist Dr. Griffin Cole where he explains a lot of the benefits of My Magic Mud. It's totally worth going to see this video. There's another video at Mud.FreeTalkLive.com. I wouldn't propose that you change your family's uh, toothbrushing habits. And by the way, you don't use this every every single day after you've after the initial uh, week or so. But I wouldn't change, suggest you you change your family's toothbrushing habits without some research. And I think it's totally worth doing the research on My Magic Mud. But I think when you, when you do the research, you'll come to the conclusion that we did, is, is this is a great product. And once you try it, it's, uh, it'll change everything for you. It's, I believe, 150 applications for 25 bucks. That's not that expensive and it, it totally a works long time it, it sure mean, does it's actually a powder just so you're prepared for this it's right. not a paste it is actually a powder you wet your toothbrush and you dip it into the pa- uh, the powder and then you uh, smear it on your teeth and then you brush for two minutes yep it's great at mymagicmud.com i cannot recommend it more i will continue to use this stuff for the rest of my life awesome mymagicmud.com what an endorsement <laughs> 855-450-3733 is the number to call here on free talk live you can bring up anything that's on your mind or on skype lrn.fm and skype has such great audio quality we, re- we really love it when people take advantage of that and bring their voices to our audience in hd uh but let's go to the phone lines right now and talk to dave listening in michigan hi dave, hi, dave. you're Great. on free talk live yes Hi. Hi, you're on the air. What's on your mind tonight? Okay. The deal is the taxi cab driver that was uh, quoted or whatever having to do with the Uber uh, car thing. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I don't, I'm don't. i not uh, familiar with the story. Could you just give us a quick recap? Well, the Uber car business where people, you know, that don't have taxi cab licenses. Mm-hmm. go pick people up or take them where they want to go. Mm-hmm. Um, their car insurance, I'm sure, is not required to be commercial. Well, I like think it probably is required to be commercial. They probably just don't do that. As I understand it, it is required to be. You are required to have your own little company, like your own little business as an independent contractor with Uber. And then the business. But, but has Uber does a check, and I'll bet you that a, a large percentage. I'm willing yeah. to go in the eight or nine, um, you know, d- double digits here. So eighty or ninety percent of people who do this do not have the proper insurance. Would be my guess. In the same way, yeah, I would say that I think uh, you're right. that pizza delivery drivers who have done this for decades um, don't have the right insurance, and probably radio ad sales people like I did for years who are out on the road selling ads for companies don't have uh, the right insurance either. Oh, yeah, and it, I'm a small business and man myself, and I make sure I carry proper insurance. And I don't agree with all the government stuff down my throat, but I got to comply with it. But my point is, my uninsured motorist fund in my state of Michigan just keeps going up and up and up, and it's for people that are basically not following the rules, and then I have to pay for it. So that's extreme socialism. So what is that's what I had an insurance fund in? Uh, I don't know what yeah, you're talking about. My I'm insurance curious. fund in Mas- Michigan. I don't know what you mean. Uh, uh, m- uh, mo- most Michigan, most I bet you most states have it, but in Michigan, there's an uninsured motorist fund, 
which all people that buy insurance, which it is a state law in our state to have to drive a car, and it is in every state, I'm sure, there is an extra, you know, every six months, you know, $120 or whatever. I'm paying for people who are not complying with the law like I am by buying insurance. You know, that's part of my bill. So, and that's the whole point. When these well, when these Uber car drivers get in a wreck and the, those insurance companies aren't stupid and they're going to find out they were driving commercially. I'll bet they don't. Raises, I bet they don't find that out. Um, I mean, I was in an automobile wreck. I bet the hell they do. They're not stupid. Well, okay, I bet they don't. And I was in I was in an automobile accident while working for a radio station. I was on the job, and they never asked me any question that was even similar to that. Hey, you know what? Were, where were you going, and why you were you going injured. there? What's that? Yes, I was injured. Did um, you get injured and go to the hospital? I did not go to the hospital, but I did go directly to the well, chiropractor after that. My whole point is people that get in the hospital, and as soon as you get in the hospital, it costs tens of thousands of dollars sometimes just to be there for one day and have a surgery. Sure, Let that's absolutely true. Hurts so, uh, by the so way, New Hampshire is, doesn't have uh, in- insurance. I was going to bring that Band-Aids. up. In New Hampshire, it's not mandatory to buy insurance for your car. So I wonder what I wonder what they do. It drives down prices because you don't have the uh, the the, yeah. the mm. monopoly yeah. essentially as as a government uh, cartelized uh, situation. Yeah, I mean it seems like this whole thing, Dave, yeah. is maybe an argument against these uninsured motorist funds, not necessarily against Uber or against people having insurance, but against the idea of socializing well, I, the risks yeah. to everybody, right? I, I'm all for a free enterprise, and I'm all for people starting businesses because I started one my own and taking a risk and all that. But I also, <laughs> I just wanted to point out, it yeah. depends on which state they're doing it, and they're doing it in all sorts of states. So if there's an Uber driver doing it in Michigan, they're going to eventually would raise up my that whole catastrophic fund for the uninsured motors. It's, it's not just That's that fund, that by the way. If you're on the so, road. <laughs> Even if they do get the insurance, right, even if they do pay for insurance, if you're on the road, you're going to cause accidents. And even if you are insured, it costs, it drives everybody's costs up because the amount that I pay in an insurance. Uh, no, no, no. It only drives the people's costs up that are paying for insurance. I'm talking exactly. about the people that aren't covered. Yeah, but and Mark, they're not you're... covered on Uber. So I'm going to leave you with that. I, I don't think you're getting my point through. That most of those people are not going to get extra commercial insurance. I so. agree, they're not. Anyways, yeah, I hear I you, Dave. Your, I, I do I, enjoy your show. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for calling <laughs> but, in, Dave. Appreciate your thoughts. I, I think I heard what he was saying. I mean, that, you know, he's frustrated because he has to pay for other people's lack of uh, participating in the insurance system when really who's to blame for that is the government for creating these uninsured motorist funds and failing to, uh, you know, their system doesn't Forcing work. people to pay. Yeah. 855 450 free free talk live for over five years you've been hearing about the berkey guy so you may know a few things about him for example you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of berkey water filters and accessories but did you know the berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are it's true and he can email you the test results just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red products on sale now button. You can always call toll free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. The Shire Free Church offers a sanctuary to those seeking an escape from state churches. The Shire Free Church is an interfaith, diverse group of people that may not share identical theological beliefs. As a member in or minister of the Shire Free Church, you are a sovereign individual and may be the faith of your choice. We don't claim to have all of the answers. We are open to all peaceful people. We want to learn from each other. What unifies the Shire Free Church and its diverse members is peace, love, and liberty. There are many paths to God, one for every individual. The Shire Free Church does not define a specific path, 
beyond those parameters that must be your foundation. Peace as your way. Love as your guide. And liberty as your light. Learn more at church.shiresociety.com. That's church.shiresociety.com. I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin, MyMagicMud.com. You can listen to Free Talk Live on the radio, podcast, satellite, webcam, and our live streams. But did you know you can listen to Free Talk Live from any phone, anywhere? Add this number to your phone, 213-493-0308. It's a long-distance call, so make sure you're familiar with your phone's calling plan. The Listen Lines are airing the latest episode of Free Talk Live 24 hours a day, including our live shows. Call 213-493-0308. That's 213-493-0308. If you are successful at what you do, whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, a business owner, or you have a great career, you understand the concept of protecting yourself. Well, are you protecting yourself, your family, and your assets with quality term life insurance? Consider these possible rates. A man age 45, non-tobacco user, could obtain $1 million of coverage for as little as $75 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 10 years. We specialize in policies of five. $500,000 and above. A man age 50, non-tobacco user, may be able to obtain $500,000 of coverage for as little as $115 a month. And this rate is fixed for the next 20 years. We have great rates for smokers, too. Call the Term Lifeline now. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. 800-872-0403. While our satellite channel is free to listen to, it's not free for us. You can help us cover our satellite costs with the chip-in on the right side of the page at lrn.fm. The show is Free Talk Live, and you're listening to the live Sunday night edition with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. You can hear us seven nights a week over at freetalklive.com. Actually, check out listen.freetalklive.com for all the different ways you can hear the show. So there you're going to see all the internet streams, the uh, studio camera where you can see us doing the show live. Perhaps you're listening live now. Uh, Or you can also find our radio affiliates there. We're on over 160 stations now, is it? Yes, it is over. Yeah, almost 170. It yeah. feels like, yeah, it feels like it's just expanding at a really rapid pace recently. We were targeting 200,000, 200, I'm sorry, uh, 200 by the end of the year. Uh, there's like 600 talk radio stations mm. in the country. Um, uh, no, there's like 1,000 talk radio stations in the country, and Rush Limbaugh's on like 600 something. Um, so, I mean, there's a target. Now, mind you, Rush has a contract where you have to air all of his uh, show all three hours and live, mm. plus some other stuff. Now, Free Talk Live, we don't have that kind Are those of contract. What, what's referred to as cram downs? Yes. The, um, so the best of that you do on the weekend is essentially a cram down. Ah. Um, you wouldn't call the contract having to carry all three hours and having to carry it live a cram down. Um, and there's this other sort of step up in the cram down arena, which is, is like, you want Rush Limbaugh? Well, you're going to have to take this other guy who's on in the afternoons, too. Mm-hmm. And that's a cram down also. Got it. So nobody's getting Free Talk Live crammed down their throats, but uh, we're no. managing to get on a bunch of stations voluntarily <laughs> anyway. So uh, did you have a Yeah, let's go talk about how to get some uh, cryptocurrencies. Go to ExpressCoin.com. It's the best choice for buying Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Litecoin, Blackcoin, Darkcoin, whether you're in the United States or Canada. It's easy, fast, safe, legal, inexpensive legal their licensed money services business they pride themselves on their customer service i've done a lot of business with the folks at expresscoin.com and they're you know always great it's amazing how quickly they get back to you amazing really um they're focused on meeting your needs it's expresscoin.com you can even do it from your smartphone by downloading their app at expresscoin.com use the coupon code ftl if you want to just try out cryptocurrencies and i recommend you do Go there, use coupon code FTL, get your first 
forty up to forty dollars of whatever cryptocurrency you want. Brian, which one are you recommending out of uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Darkcoin, Dogecoin? You didn't say Blackcoin. Blackcoin. Yeah, I I would go with Blackcoin. The t t Brian recommends getting Blackcoin. Absolutely, or it's Bitcoin. At, can you yeah, get Bla that through Expresscoin? Yeah, Blackcoin you can get through Expresscoin, oh, and indeed. it is at a buying price right now. Believe me. There you go. Coupon code FTL. Get your first uh, up to forty dollars of Bitcoin. No fee at all. This uh, and, is and not investment Blackcoin. advice. <laughs> indeed, that's Brian's <laughs> opinion. Yeah. <laughs> Expresscoin.com. All right, let's go to the phones. Dave in Poughkeepsie is listening. Hey, Dave, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind tonight? Hi. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, guys. How you doing? Doing great. Um, I'm a little uh, mad and angry. I have something that... Well, Stephanie, I have something I want to ask you, first of all. Um, how do you feel towards about people making fun of others? People making fun of others. Uh, well, that's a pretty broad subject. I mean, generally, I don't really like it very much. Let's say that, I don't know, let's say uh, someone, you know, doesn't like you, they hate you or whatever, and, you know, say, oh, Stephanie's a bad person, you know, let's all gang up and make fun of her. How, how would that make you feel? I would not enjoy that. <laughs> Stephanie, you were overweight when you were in school, um, like, much younger. Oh, yeah, for sure. I had Mark, definitely Mark, experienced Mark, I'm that. talking to Stephanie. Mark, I'm talking to Stephanie. <laughs> it's okay. For now. Can, it's okay. You can talk to Mark, too. But, yeah, I, I wouldn't <laughs> like it. Are, are you saying that someone's making fun of you, Dave? Yeah, lots of people make fun of me, and it's also a word that that there's a word that also people make fun of. The word is called A S P E R G E R S. It's called Aspergers, but like there's also morons in, who, who spell it A S S B U R G E, like, like a like a burger, like a food kind of thing. Uh -huh. They spell it the wrong way, and they say it the wrong way, but it's spelled A S P E R G E R S. I think it's A S P B E R G E R S, right? But I no, mean, it's no, no, no. It's a a a s. -E We're not going to spell like, things like, in the radio. Like yeah, guys. <laughs> it's okay. So okay, somebody's making fun of individuals with Asperger syndrome, which is a kind of autism that's basically a high functioning autism. Yeah, something like that. And because I have it, you know, people make fun of me, and I don't like it. Dave, let me consider this for a second. You've been calling for a couple of years now. And most of your calls center around people are make fun of, making fun of you. Like, that's what your complaint is. And before that, you were on message boards and people were chasing you around. And um, do you think that there maybe it's a time to change how you sort of react to people making fun of you? Like, maybe you can try something like letting it roll off your back. When I was younger, uh, people, uh, because of the way I talk and the way I look – and I was a thinner then, people would call me gay and fag all the time. I mean, it, it just infuriated me because I thought that somehow it was going to prevent me from, you know, having women. Just the opposite, my friend. Um, and it, you know. First of all, you, 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 had, you, you had said I've been calling it for a couple of years. It's only been one year. Not a couple, only been one year. I think it's been more than that. But okay, that's fine. You get to be right if you'd like. It's, it's been one year that I've been calling in, not a couple of years, maybe like okay, one year. For a year, right. you've been complaining about people making fun of you, and for years before that, you've been trying to get them to stop on message boards by printing in large block capital letters, stop making fun of me! And maybe they just like to see a reaction. It's not that they want to yeah. make fun of you as much as they just want to see you react. People and, love and that. And they know you're going to react, so they keep doing it. So have you ever tried the approach of ignoring it? I've tried ignoring trolls, you know, I, I just don't, you know, people, there, there's also people on Craigslist, you know, they, they spell the word wrong. It's called A-S-P, like computer, P A S P. Yeah, we, they're not spelling it wrong. -E they're spelling it the way that gets the best reaction from you. So they're spelling it right. Yes, and I don't like it. I know. I've, yeah, we I've hear watched, you, Dave. I've we're, watched we're your here, videos, we hear Dave. What you're saying. I've heard you do the uh, the sort of professional wrestling thing where you, you know, yammer on about, I'm not a leech. I am not a pedophile. I am, you know, and, and like you just go on and on and on over and over again. And I think people enjoy it. I think they want to get you upset and want to see your reaction and that it's, it, it amuses well, them. Well, they shouldn't. Well, uh, okay. Well, they Should and shouldn't it. isn't going to change the world. Because they, they, they should not do it because they know it, they know it gets me because, and, and I, I, if, if I find these people, I'll probably go after them. But why? 
Why would you give up your precious freedom, your time, the one thing yeah. you have on this planet, and go to prison or jail or the hospital or wherever it is you go for some moron on the internet that makes fun of you? Because I don't like it, and I plan on stopping it. Yeah, well, you're well, not going to you're I not going to stop it stop, because Dave. then they're no, going to go can't. to jail, and people are going to make fun of you there, and then you're not going to be able to do anything about because there'll be large gangs of them with knives hidden in their britches. So, you know, no, you'll never stop it. But the, but you you give them, Dave, Dave, Dave stop thing, giving I, them what they the want, question? Dave. You give them what they want. Mark? The people you're Mark? so upset at, you're giving it to them. Mark? Yes, Dave. The original question stands, the original question stands Stephanie, how would you feel if somebody made fun of you? Because I don't like people making fun of me. If somebody made fun of you, like say, oh, you're wearing like, like a bad dress, or I hate your shoes, or I hate your car, or, or you know, yeah, something we, we like that. Yeah, we already like, covered this, Dave. Feel? Yeah, we, we covered this, Dave. Bad. I mean, it's right. It's not good. But, you know, what, what we were talking about earlier tonight was uh, you, it's hard to control the actions of other people, right? Like, you can't really do much about what other people say or do on the internet or in real life, but you can control yourself. You got ultimate control over yourself. So I don't think he can. You don't. Think I don't you... think Dave can. I mean, yes, I agree with you. He's going to have more luck controlling himself than he would have controlling other people. But this is the advice I've been giving him for a year. He doesn't listen. He wants. He doesn't want to listen. He wants the world to say the things that Dave wants them to say. Everybody wants this. Most people learn somewhere um, along the line. You can't get it. Yeah. I, Dave, I have something I'd like to say. I mean, I, I hear you. I, I understand the frustration, you know, the feeling of people are making fun of you. It's hurtful. It's frustrating. It's angering, upsetting. You know, I get that. I just want to really say I understand where you're coming from. Um, would you be willing to try, you know, once or twice just kind of ignoring it and seeing how it goes? I've tried ignoring it, and it just doesn't seem to go away. And what, what should I do? You know, like yeah. it's it's, it's keep just ignoring. It. Maybe don't let it bother you. See if that might help. And Dave, we're up against the clock. Thanks for calling in tonight. This is Free Talk Live. Eight fifty five four fifty free is our phone number here on Free Talk Live. We uh, we try to help. Mark, I liked your suggestions. You know, sorry to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> that will not only improve your life, but the lives of many others as well. And all you need to do is drink coffee. I'm not talking about harmful store-bought or chain coffee. No, this is truly the best of the best coffee. We've partnered with Kamano Island Coffee Roasters to offer BuzzBox. With every purchase, 10% goes towards our efforts to give the gift of human freedom by providing at least 100 microfinance loans via World Vision. So literally, just one cup at a time, you're having an impact in helping make a difference in the world. And one sip will have you buzzing to fa- and friends. To prove just how good it is, we're giving a free pound of coffee to everyone in the audience. All you do is cover shipping. Go to coffee.freetalklive.com. Buzzbox coffee is organic, so it contains no pesticides or toxins. It's shade grown, so less acidity and no heartburn. It's top 1% Arabica grade and gives people the opportunity to own their own coffee farms. Join us in making a huge impact at coffee.freetalklive.com. If you need to say happy birthday, happy anniversary, thank you, or simply I'm thinking of you, ProFlowers.com is the key. ProFlowers has stunning bouquets, like the best-selling 100 blooms for $19.99. Plus, ProFlowers will include a glass vase for free. Sending someone a wonderful surprise of beautiful flowers sent fresh from the fields is easy. Choose the bouquet you like, pick the delivery date, and each order is 100% guaranteed. Plus, all bouquets from Pro Flowers are guaranteed to last at least seven full days. Beautiful, fragrant flowers, picked fresh and sent to your loved one for lasting enjoyment. To get this incredible savings and send someone 100 gorgeous blooms with a free vase for $19.99, go to ProFlowers.com, click the blue microphone in the top right corner, and enter code PLOW. That's ProFlowers.com. Click the mic and enter code P-L-O-W. Free Press Publications is an independent alternative media and publishing company founded in June 2009 with the mission of ensuring a free press for the freedom movement and is committed to spreading the message of peace, freedom, love, and liberty. FPP also gives new authors an avenue for publishing freedom-oriented material. FPP brings you daily news and commentary at fpp.cc. 
as well as weekly news in the FPP Freedom Minute and Peace, Love, Liberty Radio at FPPradio.com. The monthly newspaper, FPP News at news.fpp.cc and books at shop.fpp.cc. Find FPP online at fpp.cc. That's fpp.cc, as in Creative Commons. Did you know that you can listen to and watch Free Talk Live during our live show seven days a week from 7 to 10 p.m. Eastern via our studio cam at cam.freetalklive.com? Not only that, but you can also chat with other listeners at the same time. Do I need to mention that both the studio cam and chat room are totally free? Outside of Free Talk Live's live hours, you won't see a cam feed, but we'll hear audio from the Liberty Radio Network. So listen, watch, and chat all free at cam.freetalklive.com. That's cam.freetalklive.com. My name is Jacob Hornberger. I'm president of the Future of Freedom Foundation, which Congressman Ron Paul awarded for having an outstanding freedom website. Write us at fff at fff.org, and we'll send you a free three-month subscription to our monthly journal of libertarian essays and our booklet, Economic Liberty in the Constitution, which George Mason University economics professor Walter Williams praised in a recent column. That's fff at fff.org. Do you love Twitter? Make sure you favorite the LRN.FM Twitter account so you can receive our tweets at twitter.lrn.fm. That's twitter.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday edition with uh, me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. (laughs) And and Josie's in the studio. You can't hear her, <laughs> but she came over to deliver a sweet treat here on Free. If Talk you're Live. watching the cam at cam.freetalklive.com, you're oh, the one getting the treat. Indeed, and she's internet famous. She's got a YouTube Stop channel. That. <laughs> so you could call us tonight at 855-450-3733 bring up anything that's on your mind tonight, or you can call us on Skype at lrn.fm. And uh, Mark, yeah, go to modup.net. Um, Yeah, I recommend going there because if you are looking to get that critical edge, you know, maybe, maybe you just, you know, you're a businessman, you're a... Brian, bit, I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I was trying to mute Mark's microphone because I thought he was going to have a conversation, but I ended up muting yours instead. That's all right. So, yeah, I mean, to keep you from doing that, maybe you want to take something like modafinil. <laughs> yeah. Or look into Sometimes modafinil. Sometimes I need more focus. Yeah, right. If you need I'm focus. I'm feeling fatigued. Yeah, and you're feeling fatigued. Exactly. You want to check out modafinil from modup. Dot net and these guys believe me they offer the highest quality they are the number one sponsor for reddit's third party noatropic testing project they are putting their money where their mouth is and so if you want to try this out uh you know again go to modup.net that's m-o-d-u-p.net uh, and if you use the code ftl you'll get 10 free tablets also if you use bitcoin because they are huge supporters of the bitcoin community as is free talk live of course uh you, you you'll get 33 percent off 33 percent off of your order and modup.net they ship worldwide free talk live is a worldwide show so make sure you look into your local uh you know restrictions and prescription information before you uh you know order it so if you want modafinil head over to modup.net use that code ftl all right. Yeah, we had a number of people that we've heard from, I guess, through Free Talk Live channels saying that they were thinking about trying it. They haven't gotten around to it yet. And uh, Carpe Diem, now is as good a time as any, right? Right on. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the phones and talk to Moses listening in Florida. He wants to talk about religion. Hi, Moses. You're on Free Talk Live. Hi, Stephanie. And hi, uh, uh, Brian and Mark. How are you guys doing? All's well. Excellent. Doing great. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just, uh, again, there's so much strife uh, dealing with the religion, especially uh, the five major ones, be it uh, Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, especially especially the last two. Uh, again, uh, um, it, again, the, the word Muslim is really it's found in the in the, in the Hebrew Judeo Christian Bible in the form of. Uh, this person called Mel Cheese, the king of Salem. Is that Melchizedek? Melchizedek, yeah. Yes, he was the king king of peace, king of Salem. That, 
that, uh, again, Yeshua Jesus was made a, pri a priest after the order of Melchizedek. That's why he was called the Prince of Peace. So again, the word Salem comes from Salam, which means peace. So he, is he Buddha was also called the Prince of Peace? Well, all the all of the of those enlightened ones was again were from my understanding, from my seeking, but was sent you know to to learn how to raise their vibrations so they can go about healing and teaching you know pe teaching love and 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 true knowledge. So uh, you're uh, wondering why there's so much strife when actually there's a lot of like similarities between these religions. I, I like, yes, like I say, it's pe uh, people who don't read for self. Uh, uh, the, from my understanding, the holy G the jihad is really found in the, again in the holy Bible and the Christian Bible, where we re we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but with principalities and wickedness and in high places, which is the kingdom of our minds, the thoughts that come in our minds. That uh, the true enemy is the word itself. The enemy, ourself, is a, a, is our true enemy. And yeah, there's true. actually a really great quote uh, that was that if there's no enemy within, there can be no enemy without. Uh, and I, I think that's an interesting point. I, you know, I think, Moses, what you're saying is that really there's a lot of this, you know, a lot of this strife comes from fundamentalism. It comes from a very literal uh, reading of a lot of these things as to where I think in many cases, in whatever scripture you take your pick, there are it's very clear that it's referencing something uh, it's it's a metaphor. It's a bit more of a metaphor. Now, there's times certainly where it is being literal, but there's plenty of times where, like, you take a case in in the New Testament where Jesus says, you know, don't, uh, you know, don't don't point out a splinter in someone's eye without getting the mote out of your own. Now, obviously, you're not literally looking for somebody a splinter in somebody's eye, and you did literally don't have a log in your own eye, you know. And so, yeah, I, I think this is where a lot of this stuff comes from: is, is people just take it like way to to this literal uh, extreme. Again, I, I I agree with you on that point. Again, uh, all from my understanding, all of the, of the five major ones, the, I guess the one that has uh, some uh, what you call a book or some uh, the, the Vegas. Or, yeah, they'll have uh, some kind of holy scripture. So got some kind of holy scripture has been tampered with by 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 man, um, in order to I guess. Um, uh, Claim to be the only true way, and uh, again, uh, uh, the word infidel, which I, I, I hear. On, see, I, I listen to a whole lot of talk radio, and how it's so much, you know, uh, 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 this fervent uh, about again this thing with the what you call the ISIS uh, and and all of this. Uh, yeah, it's a big deal right now. Going back, going back to the word, the word infidel, which that's the Constantly, uh, you know, um, talking about the the, the, the the fanatical Islamists talking about killing all the infidel, but the infidel is found in in the in the Holy Bible twice. It, it, the Islam is the baby; it's the last of the five major religions. Yeah. So Islam is really copying a lot of, uh, you know, the so-called uh, things out of out of Christianity. Yeah, you know uh, this so-called. Yeah, no, it's Go true. Ahead. Actually, Christianity, if you look at a lot of the early church fathers, they know very well that there was, they have what's called Prisca Theologia that they talk about. That's Latin for the first religion, the first theology. And so even Christianity itself admits that there was this original religion that everything uh, kind of sprouted out from. Uh, which probably Zoroastrianism. Uh, yeah, maybe because Zoroastrianism and, and Judaism are have very similar laws uh, w within them. So, sure, you know, it's true. There, there's this stuff can be found. You can trace it back pretty far. Yeah, but again, uh, I mean, there's so many people who don't read and, and try to understand. Again, a, a true quote unquote uh, devout of any religion is a, and most all of the major ones really. In in the, I guess the uh, the the deepest core, it's about peace and and and, and, and enlightenment. But again, uh, especially in Islam, uh, uh, Muhammad really was brought peace. But again, those heathens and those barbaric at the time, they conquered and you know by by, by bar, bar, barbarism, 
And so they they can they wouldn't let you know this so-called new information about peace, you know, come in when they uh, again gain their high position by conquering and you know and you know and, ru- and ruling peoples. So they inserted a whole lot of stuff, and most of the stuff about killing is going is going back into the Old Testament where the, the Lord told the, uh, the Hebrew Israelites to go to all these different Canaanite uh, uh, communities and nations and kill everything from the children to the old people, cattle, everything. They said utterly destroy everything. So they still, you know, operating. Yeah, religions like government, when you put people in charge of creating laws within it or you put them in charge of enforcing those laws, uh, suddenly it becomes a very dangerous thing and people start adding in their own crap. Uh, you know, and, and, and no, really, yeah, they like, do. Yeah. Like Moses, like Moses is saying. Is saying. It, it's sure. all about peace at the core, but yeah. then it becomes kind of... Yeah, but then once you start saying, oh, yeah, this person understands it best, and you give somebody that power, just like you do with a politician, uh, that's going to get abused. Power always gets abused. It should be left in, it shouldn't be in anybody's hands, and that should be the core of any religion. Yeah. Moses. Well, uh, guys, I really appreciate you you all's show. It's very, very enlightening. Oh, thank you so uh, much for the call. Keep up the good work. Thanks, Moses. Appreciate your call tonight. And uh, 855 450 free is our number here on Free Talk Live, where you can bring up anything that's on your mind. You can even totally change the subject. That's totally fine with us. Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting point. You know, when you look at a lot of these religions, a lot of them do. Uh, I, I mean, know it, you it, spent a lot of time like doing comparative religious studies on your own. Oh, absolutely. Right, well, in some ways, I'm a child of two religions. I mean, raised Jewish and then, you know, parents converted to Christianity. Uh, yeah, you and, literally are yeah. a child of two religions. <laughs> sure. And so you, you do have this issue when you look at these things that, that they do have a lot in common. And it gets weird, especially when the things they have in common are so abstract, but so accurate that you do have to wonder what ex- where did this exactly come from? And nobody wants to look at the similarities. They're too busy trying to define themselves to be different. The from differences, one another. yeah. 855-450-3733 is the number to call here on Free Talk Live or LRN.FM on Skype. More coming up. Lumber Liquidators Fall Flooring Kickoff Sale is on with over 250 of the latest styles all on sale now. Get Black Forest Oak Laminate for a crazy 39 cents a square foot. Beautiful and durable bamboo for just $159. Classic pre-finished gunstock oak hardwood for $149. All gorgeous Bella Wood pre-finished hardwood is on sale. Plus get special 24-month financing. Go to LumberLiquidators.com today to find the store nearest you. Hurry, this sale ends Tuesday the 2nd. The fall flooring season is here. Why aren't you? America. Americans are reeling from Obamacare, higher prices, and an epidemic of policy lapses. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com has you covered. World-class medical and surgery at one of Asia's most modern hospitals. 300 doctors, surgeons, and dentists serving 300,000 patients a year. Fractions of U.S. prices. Friends or family forced to go out of pocket? Avoid bankruptcy. Tell them to run. Run like hell. Hit us up now. We'll show you how. AsiaRunLikeHellGuide.com. This is Mark of Free Talk Live. We've been witnessing a meltdown of the economic engine that powers our country. With a printing press tethered to Washington bureaucrats and New York central bankers, how can we trust paper money? For years, I've been buying gold and silver from Midas Resources, and you should too. Call 877-357-9938 for a free book titled 10 Reasons to Own Gold, or go to gold.freetalklive.com. Again, 877-357-9938. 877-357-9938. The three most important things you can do for Free Talk Live are, one, share one episode a week on Facebook or in some other social networking site. Two, buy the things you buy online through shop.freetalklive.com. Three, give five bucks a month to the AMP program. You likely buy all kinds of things online. Amazon is the largest online retailer. You can get what you need at the same prices with free super saver shipping by going to shop.freetalklive.com. Please do your online shopping at shop.freetalklive.com. You're listening to the live edition of Free Talk Live. Hour number three is next after the news here on the Liberty Radio Network at LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat, your daily source for Liberty news and activist updates. Online at thelibertybeat.com. I'm Brian Hagan with your Liberty Beat for Friday, August 29th, 2014. 
Gold opened today at $1,285. Silver opened at $19.49, while Bitcoin is trading around $508.39. Support for Liberty Beat comes from Central Texas Gunworks, your online source for firearms, firearm accessories, and ammunition. They take major credit cards and now accept Bitcoin. Visit them online at shop.centraltexasgunworks.com. In the news, in the wake of the Michael Brown shooting in Ferguson, Missouri, activists across the country are looking for solutions to the problem of police brutality. Some groups are calling for political action to deal with the issue. Others are circumventing the political channels altogether and taking direct action. One group doing just that is the Huey P. Newton Gun Club. Named after the late co-founder of the Black Panther Party, the Huey P. Newton Gun Club organized an open carry march in downtown Dallas, Texas this week. Organizers of the demonstration say their purpose is twofold, to protect people of their communities from the police and to educate the public about their right to keep and bear arms. After being denied in an appeals court, opponents of Houston's Equal Rights Ordinance are asking the Texas Supreme Court to help them in their efforts to force a referendum on the law. On Tuesday, opponents of the law filed a request seeking to have the court force the city to suspend the measure until another vote takes place. The law, which passed in May, bans discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity, as well as other factors. Is Austin, Texas becoming a nanny state? Well, that's the question that many are asking after two pieces of legislation were passed at Thursday's city council meeting, further restricting the liberties and property rights of Austin residents. The council unanimously passed legislation banning motorists from using cell phones while driving. Well, that follows an ordinance passed in 2010 that banned texting while driving. On top of that, an ordinance authored by Chris Riley, which requires businesses in Austin with single-stall bathrooms to label the bathroom as gender neutral, also passed. The legislation is intended to make transgender people feel more comfortable, but some Austin residents think the city has bigger issues to deal with. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from My Magic Mud. All natural teeth whitener. Go to MyMagicMud.com to hear a short interview with Dr. Griffin Cole. That's MyMagicMud.com. And support comes from Midas Resources Incorporated, helping clients convert their paper, 401ks, and IRAs to solid gold and silver. Get their 10 reason books free by calling 800-686-2237. That's 1-800-686-2237. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, August 29th, 2014. Make sure you check out our website at thelibertybeat.com. Documents obtained by the News Tribune indicate that the Tacoma Police Department has been quietly operating cell phone surveillance technology since 2008. The tool, known as Stingray, tricks cell phones by pretending to be a cell tower and collecting data from the phone. Deputy City Attorney Michael Smith redacted much of the documents, However, what can be seen reveals the police department has updated their technology as recently as last year. A number of Tacoma City Council members stated they were unaware of the technology. A Tacoma Police Department spokeswoman stated the chief could not speak about the technology because of a non-disclosure agreement with the FBI. A federal judge dealt a blow to the efforts of Hawaiians who fought for countywide regulations on genetically modified organisms. Syngenta and other biotechnology companies filed a lawsuit against Kauai County after the council approved an ordinance that required GMO farmers to submit annual reports to government agencies about their crops, as well as no-spray buffer zones. U.S. Magistrate Judge Barry Kernan ruled that the ordinance was preempted by Hawaii state regulations for pesticides, plant quarantines, seed quality, and noxious weeds. However, the ruling does imply that the ordinance was not barred by federal law. The implication is that other counties or cities could pass GMO legislation just so long as it does not interfere with the federal or state laws. Support for the Liberty Beat comes from The Cory Moore Show. With a focus on all things topical and liberty-oriented, Cory Moore and his band of co-hosts, including me, keep a sense of humor while attacking the state. The Cory Moore Show, live each Friday night, 9 o'clock Central, 10 o'clock Eastern at CoreyMoreShow.com and LRN.FM. This is the Liberty Beat for Friday, August 29th, 2014. I'm Brian Hagan reporting. Reminding you, spread liberty with a smile. Republicans back a plan for universal lawn care. And an RC car works up the courage to approach a group of girls. And now a recap of the week's news for those who like to waste their summers surfing the... 
Internet. Fall, the long-running series of shorter days and cooler nights, was canceled this week after nearly three billion seasons on Earth. The classic period of the year, which once occupied the coveted slot between summer and winter, will be replaced by new stifling humidity levels and near-constant sunshine. A shiny, bobbing object in the water is generating fascination among members of the fish community, who have described it as pleasingly wiggly and minnow-esque. Aquatic experts say that decisive action must be taken against the object very soon. In local news, just when 27-year-old Andrew Sheets didn't think his vacation could get any better, a rerun of Spin City came on. And in other headlines, a bee stuck between the screen and front door is going f***ing nuts. And a water skier lets go of the crossbar to greet those not currently water skiing. This is the Onion News Network. This is Free Talk Live, the live Sunday night edition with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. Free Talk Live is a show where you can bring up anything that's on your mind as we kick off the uh, third hour of tonight's program. If you missed a minute of the show, never fear. You can hear it online. Just go to freetalklive.com and get hooked up with the archive of the show, which will be up uh, later tonight usually around like 11 o'clock Eastern time, about an hour after the live show ends. And if you're, uh, w- if you're wanting some entertainment in the meantime, check out any of our most recent uh, seven shows right up at the top of the website. The week's work- worth of archives are right there for you for free to access conveniently. And you can go even further back in the archives on our SoundCloud page or at uh, archives.freetalklive.com. All right. And 855-450-FREE is the number to call if you want to talk to us tonight, bring up anything that's on your mind, or you can also call us on Skype at LRN.FM. And right now, I think we're actually going to go to Skype because Nathan's been patiently waiting on the line. Hey, Nathan, you're on Free Talk Live. What's on your mind? Hey, guys. So uh, I thought it was interesting that Dave called because the issue I wanted to raise is kind of related to that, this idea of like, uh, like how you view yourself versus viewing others and Stephanie, I know you've talked about this a lot, this um, um, people who kind of sublimate their own needs, the desires of others. Yeah, for sure. I think that's a problem that um, everybody has sometimes, you know, like kind of putting others ahead of themselves. Yeah. Doing this self-sacrificial thing. It's easy to do. Right. So the specific topic I wanted to talk about was the Fields Medal in mathematics. And it's kind of like the Nobel Prize of math. And uh, mm. so the same things that I'm going to say apply to the Nobel Prize, too. It was uh, a woman just won it for the first time this year. I heard way, about in, that. Yeah. An Iranian named Maryam Mirza Khani. Um, what a lot of people don't know, though, is that there was a Russian a man named Perlman who, like eight years ago, also won the Fields Medal. And he declined it because... Uh, Quote, I'm not interested in money or fame. I don't want to be on display like an animal in a zoo, unquote. Wow, that and, sounds like something a reclusive math genius might say. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I got to totally respect it, but I would run right in there and take that medal. <laughs> Here, let me get it for you, pal. <laughs> okay. So I was curious. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, he also declined a million dollars. I'm sure Mark wouldn't turn that down. Uh, I, I, well, at the very least, if you're going to take the million dollars, give it to something that's worth giving it to. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, if you don't want it for yourself, sure, you could do, give it to someone else that might use it. it now, maybe the best p- people is the organization that hang, hands out this medal to to have it. In which case, leaving it with them is a fine thing to do. So what what intrigues me about this, and I'll admit maybe he's just a reclusive genius or whatever, but it does seem like there's this culture in academia, in science, and whatever that um, like prestige is all, and if you can uh, you know get more reputation by doing this, then you'll, you'll your career will do better, and uh, you know it's like like I read the words of one Nobel Prize winner, he was saying it's like it's like a magical change. The day before I was just professor so and so going to work. Today I'm a celebrity or like today mm-hmm. everyone is eager to meet me. And yeah. Um I don't know. It just I, I wonder, is that your experience, Stephanie, in in what you saw when you were in school? Did there seem to yeah. be this focus on reputation and prestige above all else to some extent? Oh yeah. I mean it is spot on, Nathan. Like totally. There there's a lot, even in the world of um science. I guess you could even say it maybe it's worse in science because like 
potentially people's lives are on the line if they're creating cures for stuff. But yeah, everybody wanted to be a rock star scientist because when you're a rock star, not only do you get fame, which a lot of scientists want, they want maybe not fame, but at least like acknowledgement. Like they want people to know who they are and appreciate their work and recognize that they made a contribution to the world. And who doesn't want that to some extent, but some people really get a lot of that recognition and then they kind of play on it. They do PR, they, they put out press releases, they do uh, a certain amount of like putting out a website and putting out a public face to the world. And, you know, you could make the argument that they get more recognition and more publicity for their research because of that. And they get more grant money from the government, perhaps. Uh, that's what, always been one of my biggest critiques is that the government funds pretty much all academic research and uh, even with private companies so-called they're often getting government grants to do certain types of research and often the incentives become just to get more grants not necessarily to do useful research but just to keep on getting these grants and like perpetuating your existence Uh, but there's also this culture in academia of like humbleness is a virtue you know like you're you, you want the fame and you want the recognition or most scientists do want the fame and the recognition but you're not really supposed to acknowledge that you're supposed to pretend like you're so humble and you're giving other people all this credit but really you're enjoying the fame like very secretly <laughs> if you get recognition <laughs> for your stuff that's kind of how it is and everybody kind of just passes around these accolades in a circle you know everybody's acknowledging other yep. people that's and, what success is yeah. right like success is is being acknowledged for what you do mm-hmm. um and uh, for a lot of people and uh, you know i get it I-, I love going to liberty forum and pork fest because essentially that's what it's like for me there i get a little small level of uh, success without people following me around and bothering me i don't get any of that and that's awesome right mm-hmm. like this is exactly <laughs> the way um you want to have it is hey mark hey how you doing? Like that kind of thing. Yeah, and it's that's not like you're really walking nice. down the street with people crowding around you asking for your autograph. Right. I mean, you know, that's <laughs> like the Beatles or whatever it was like for those guys. Or maybe uh, Justin Bieber's might be a, a good uh, example today. You know, they can't walk down the street without being mobbed. I, obviously, nothing like that for me. Thank goodness. I, I blame Plato. And thus I blame Western civilization for the whole damn thing. And I find it interesting that a Russian is the one that actually bucked the whole trend because he would be from the East. Hmm. So I think there is this obsession with, you know, being recognized as a philosopher king. Uh, I think that and that's what the entire the all the entire academic structure is pretty much based on Francis Bacon's New Atlantis. And that is entirely based upon Neoplatonism and all of this stuff, all of it, all this, this, you know, lifestyle obsession that everybody goes crazy about comes from that. And whether it's right or wrong, That's something people need to be willing to explore, but nobody in this country and certainly most of the world wants to question Western civilization for two seconds, unfortunately, Mm -hmm. except for a mathematician that happened to walk away. You know, it's it's interesting because I guess years ago, maybe like pre 1990s, uh, libertarianism or the liberty movement was a lot more academic you know, because like people like Murray Rothbard and Hans Hermann Hoppe or whatever, they all became professors. Because that was how you spread ideas at the time, before the internet, you know, like Murray Rothbard was a professor, and he thought that was the way that he could basically reach the most people. But of course, now that's changed. And, you know, I'm sure it must have been interesting for, like, what must it have been like to be Murray Rothbard and to be like the only person who had these radical ideas in your department, and everybody else probably refused to eat lunch with him? I mean... Well, I'm sure supposedly he... his advisor kept his PhD on hold for eight years, and he only got it because the guy had snuck off somewhere and oh sort of, like God. jumped in and got it defended and passed. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I don't doubt that for a minute. It's it's scary to be an outlier, even though you're supposed to have this protection of tenure or whatever within the academic setting. It's supposed to be uh, something that encourages academic freedom, right? Where you can be free to explore radical ideas without threat of retaliation. Uh, but actually, it it ends up like like creating a lot of conformity, the whole tenure system, because everybody's trying and scrambling to get it and has, has to kind of fall in line before that. Sure, point. the right answer is the answer that your um, professor wants you to give, right? Yeah, yeah. What else? What other, What would the other answer possibly be? Mm. But now, at the, these <laughs> days, ac- uh, libertarian the libertarian movement, I guess, has become way less academic, I would say. Like, there are still the academics out there, but they're a little older, generally. Um, uh, And a lot of uh, celebritarians, for lack of a better word, are just 
you know, they've got YouTube channels or blogs yep. and they do a lot of self promotion. You know, do you notice that? Like there are definitely some people I can think of that very heavily promote themselves successfully. It, successfully, right? Yeah. And it works. I wish That's Free Talk Live was better at it. <laughs> is is it a good or a bad thing? I mean, because did did the well, academia? It's effective, whatever it is. Sure, because did the academia solve anything? I mean, that, that's yeah. that's always my argument is that look, if if libertarianism as it is taught is, is, was such a grand idea, it should have already won fifty years ago. You mm-hmm. know, with human action or, or something. Yeah, or, you know, praxeology. I, I agree. I think the internet is helping uh, the ideas of liberty reach way more people. What about you, Nathan? Final thoughts. Uh, no, that's, uh, I'll have to check out Neo Atlantis. That's interesting. <laughs> cool, I have Nathan. never heard someone challenge all of Western civilization. <laughs> I'll be Thank the you. first. Thank you for the call tonight. This is Free Talk Live, the Sunday show. More coming up. Hi, everyone. I'm Chuck Woolery. After putting a few thousand couples together on Love Connection, you know that nothing kills romance faster than bad breath. Smart Mouth gets at the cause of bad breath without the burn. And you get clean breath for about 12 hours. Other mouthwashes only prevent bad breath for about an hour. Gum and mints, well, they just cover it up. Use Smart Mouth in the morning for great breath all day. Rinse in the evening for clean, kissable breath all night. You can even wake up without morning breath. Smart Mouth, for 12 hours of real clean breath, look for the green box at your favorite store. Are you searching for your soulmate? Someone you can trust, who will never betray you, or cooperate with the NSA? Stop searching. With EasyDNS, you found a keeper. EasyDNS does it all. Domain names, web hosting, and managed WordPress hosting. EasyDNS stands up for your internet freedom. And with servers in Canada, they do not cooperate with the NSA. Go to EasyDNS.com. You'll love their services or get a full refund. They guarantee it. And they accept Bitcoin. That's EasyDNS.com. Gold. It's like nothing else on Earth. From the Romans through the Renaissance, from the Industrial Age to the Space Age, gold has weathered the test of time. For 6,000 years, gold has remained the ultimate store of wealth. According to the World Gold Council and the U.S. Mint, demand is at an all-time high. The stage is being set for the reemergence of gold as the common-sense alternative to a fiat paper currency that gets weaker every day. Midas Resources is proud to offer the hard-hitting report that arms you with the truth you need to protect you and your family from the Fed's plans for your hard-earned money. Don't gamble with your future. Call Midas Resources today and ask for your free copy of As Good As Gold. Call 1-800-686-223. For the report the Fed hopes you'll never see. As good as gold can be yours by calling 800-686-2237. If you have ever thought about owning gold, you must read this report. Call Midas today at 800-686-2237. On Free Talk Live, we're bringing people to the ideas of liberty every day. From wrestling superstars like Glenn Jacobs. You guys really are having an impact, I believe. Like I said, uh, a lot of where I am now is due to listening to Free Talk Live. You changed my mind on some very important issues years ago. To random people tuning in on the radio. I was kind of stuck in the left-right paradigm. I heard your show by chance on a Saturday night. From there, I went on doing the Free State Project and become an amplifier. So, I mean, that's really the reason why I amp is uh, because I know that if it wasn't for you guys being on as many stations as you are, I never would have found the ideas of liberty. Your amp will directly change more lives by getting Free Talk Live in front of people looking for talk radio online and on the air. Find out about giving to our Google AdWords campaign at amp.freetalklive.com. That's amp.freetalklive.com. If you want to know the latest about Free Talk Live before we go on the air, all you need to decide is how you want it delivered. It's your choice. Visit news.freetalklive.com. You can get emailed announcements and participate in contests via our email updates list. Plus, we have a Twitter account that you can follow and a Facebook page where you can become a fan. So visit news.freetalklive.com to get news about Free Talk Live as soon as it's announced and the way you want it delivered at news.freetalklive.com. That's news.freetalklive.com. Imagine for a moment a radio program, the most personal of mediums, that reaches hundreds of thousands of people on more than 140 radio stations across the U.S. and around the world through the Internet with podcasts and live streams. Imagine the advertising is affordable from $600 to $6,000 a month. Free Talk Live is that program. We will work with you to get clicks, calls, views, or sales. Email me at mark at freetalklive.com. 
Listen to LRN.FM on any phone, anytime. 213-493-0309. That's 213-493-0309. This is Free Talk Live, a live Sunday night show with me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. And 855-450-3733 is our phone number, sponsored by ProXPN. Or you can call us on Skype at LRN.FM. Bring up anything that's on your mind. Just one week from now, I will be in Houston for the first annual Marijuana Investment Conference. Now, this isn't the sort of event where you're going to go see people who are selling glass pipes and, um, you know, those kind of things. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing all these businessmen in suits. We came all this way for a glorified head shop? <laughs> <laughs> Not that. This is, uh, in, you know, investors uh, meeting with uh, business people in the new and burgeoning uh, nation field of uh, marijuana. It's recreational in Washington and Colorado. It's medical in about half of the states in the country. You can't deny the field's wide open, and you'd be a fool to say that there's not going to be a lot of people that make a lot of money in this new wide open field. I'm kind of interested to see what's going to happen there, and I certainly want to be able to report back to you. So um, please come and join me if you're in, in the field in some way or want to be. It's at the Weston Houston Memorial City on September the 8th, bright and early. Register now, MarijuanaInvestmentConferences.com. It's MarijuanaInvestmentConferences.com. Use coupon code FTL when you register, and uh, we'll have some FTL stuff for you there. Let me know when you do, too, just that way I can sort of count up the people who've registered that way. Coupon code FTL at Marijuana Investment Conferences dot com. I really, I think it's an industry that's going to grow and not go up in smoke. <laughs> I think it's I really do both. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's funny. And how would they let you know by emailing Mark at freetalklive dot com? Yeah, that's just let me know how it uh, went through, or if you have any trouble registering or anything like that, I can take help take care of it. Cool, cool, sounds good. All right, let's go to the phones where Robert is listening in Bellows Falls, Vermont. Hey, Robert, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi, long time no here. <laughs> well, you haven't heard us for a while. We've been here doing the radio show. Well, no, but I mean, it's been a while since I've uh, called in because I know you and and Brian, uh, you know, do the show on Sundays, and this is my favorite part of the uh, Free Talk Live is listening to you know you and Brian, and then, of course my friend Max. So. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, of, thank of you. course. Thank yeah. you so much, Robert. We really appreciate that. That's nice to hear. I, I, I kind of want to switch the subject uh, to something else, if I may, sir. Absolutely. Please. A serious subject. Uh, I have a brother that has Asperger's syndrome. Asperger's? And, yeah. And, uh, I mean, he's, he's my older brother, and, and you know, I, 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 I love him very much, and... and but I, I really, really have a hard time trying to get along with him, you know. Uh, and I wondered maybe if I could get some advice from you guys or maybe some tools that might work with me to be able to help me to get along with him. I mean, he, mm. I mean, he tries, you know, uh, enroll me into, you know, the religion that he goes to. Uh, you know, he's always telling me that I'm wrong. Uh, mm. You know, he thinks that he's smarter than anybody else. I uh, and, and he is intelligent for you know what it is, but it just it it, it, it really it makes it very difficult for me to get along with him. And I'm just looking mm. for some some advice, some tools. You know. Yeah. To well, that's I have to say, like that does sound like it would create some friction in your relationship. But are those things that are specific to Asperger's syndrome, or is it just maybe that he's kind of um, dogmatic and, they're not unusual <laughs> yeah because I, I was thinking i know some people who try to convert me to their religion and they don't have asperger's syndrome right <laughs> or who are, no, no, think they're always right <laughs> what's that he, he definitely he definitely has it he's been checked out and mm -hmm. and uh he definitely has it but but it's just like i said it, it's, it's just really frustrating you know uh yeah i think you know, I, it's, it's wrong with him, yeah you know and yeah, I hear you, Robert. I'll shut up and you guys go ahead and talk. Well, you know, I think something that would really 
help with anyone and regardless really of their condition because i think this is like trying to prove them wrong i mean people will just like keep throwing facts at you back and forth and you can find facts on anything or you know they'll they'll just keep repelling but i think the question to really ask somebody that's giving you a very hard maybe a hard time is what is asking them what they want like what are they what are they really trying to achieve what do they want from you and turning it into making the question not about like a you know a fact versus fact or a belief versus belief kind of conversation but turning it into what exactly are the goals that that both of you are trying to reach or at least that he's trying to reach because that's something that you can really respond to and that doesn't re- require like a knowledge of Christianity or a knowledge of some kind of factual business. You know what I mean? That's getting right to the core of what exactly, like, why do you, like when he says, you know, look, I want you to come to church. Well, why do you want me to do that? Well, I'm concerned about your soul. And then that's a conversation that can be had about how you feel about your own soul. I mean, even with somebody that has Asperger's syndrome, I've found that that kind of conversation can really help. I've worked with people before that have that. uh, And really, once you get down to the feelings of it, often enough, you can get something, or at least they'll end up just constantly repeating themselves, sure, but then at least it's not a fight. I have a book suggestion from uh, our caller, Nathan, who had just called in. Um, He recommends a book called The Unwritten Rules of Social Relationships, Decoding Social Mysteries Through the Unique Perspectives of Autism, and it's by Dr. Temple Grandin and Sean Barron. And I guess the authors both have autism, but um, they've kind of learned to you know, live in the social world, even though in spite of their Asperger's syndrome or autism spectrum disorders. So, and the book is highly rated. It's got 74 reviews and it's almost five stars on Amazon. So that might be helpful. Yeah, I actually, I have a nephew that's autistic and that was the only way really even to, to get to the bottom of what he was, you know, what he was trying to do, what he was trying to, what he was thinking, Mm. because he would just constantly say, no, I don't want to do that. No, no, you know, and all this stuff. And then you, if you just stopped and asked him why. Mm-hmm. You know, and what are, what are you feeling? What are you wanting? And then he'll, he would respond with, it hurts or something like that. And then you could actually get to the key of what he was trying to get at. And you really could solve it. Even with when he was really young, that worked. And so I, I just, mm-hmm. I see that as a key. You know, people, uh, it's it's hard for people to get along. And this is why. Even without autism right. thrown in the mix, for sure. sure. And and that's just, it. it's just one of those things. It's difficult. And so if a person who is able to, control the situation um to control the upset to control the the you know what's going on is uh you know as far as you know the the when people get these flare-ups of emotion if you're able to control that in the other person you win in life um and honestly you don't have to be able to do it every time just some of the time and still do well um in the situation but it's going to happen personalities are going to con- con- conflict and and that's that yeah, and then some of the some personalities in particular are just more challenging. You know, it. I I definitely hear that. Like when someone I'm insists glad you that see they're it that right, way, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, someone understands these libertarians. <laughs> no, I mean seriously. Uh, one thing that people often accuse libertarians of is being Aspergery, quote unquote, like having some characteristics of almost like someone with Asperger's syndrome because they're very logical sometimes to the point where they don't pick up on social cues <laughs> and so you know maybe i don't mean to minimize your brother's situation robert but uh i think we're those are our people <laughs> we deal with them a lot so hopefully this has helped robert thank you for calling in tonight this is free talk live 855-450-3733 the sunday edition of free talk live I love my magic mud. I drink a lot of coffee. I had stains on my teeth. Then I found my magic mud, and I was told it would remove stains. So I paid attention when I brushed the first time. My magic mud is black tooth powder, and the difference it made in my teeth in one application was noticeable. With four, my teeth were as white as you normal folks out there. Please go to MyMagicMud.com and buy a jar. There's 150 applications for 25 bucks. You can use Bitcoin. MyMagicMud.com. This is Dan Pillett. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, 
danpilla.com. Are you looking for an excuse to come check out New Hampshire this fall? You're invited to Keenvention. Keenvention is your chance to meet dozens of key liberty activists from across the Shire. You can explore the beautiful little city of Keene, discuss various forms of activism with seasoned veterans, do some Robin Hooding, and learn about making the move. Keenvention received rave reviews last year. If you missed it, visit Keenvention.info for full video coverage of every speaker and panel. This year, Rich Paul is our first announced keynote speaker, and more are being announced now at Keenvention.info. Join old and new friends and neighbors in Keene for Keenvention this October 31st through November 2nd. You can pre-order your tickets now for just $60 at Keenvention.info, or you can pay with Bitcoin. Visit Keenvention.info for more information and to lock in your tickets at the pre-order $60 price for the whole weekend. Visit Keenvention.info for more, or look for our page and event on Facebook. That's Keenvention.info. When I found the Free State Project, I knew it was the key to achieving liberty in my lifetime. It's awesome to be surrounded by like-minded, freedom-loving activists who've moved here to New Hampshire. From politics to civil disobedience, we have it all. Where I came from, it felt that no matter what I did, liberty was dying. Perhaps you feel the same way? Call 888-377-2515 now to learn more about the Free State Project. That's 888-377-2515 or visit freestateproject.org. Here's a chance to do a little activism while you're cruising Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Between the LOL cats, the recipes, the hot girls, and the inspirational sunrise memes, Free Talk Live's posts pass by your newsfeed. Like them. Comment. It gives us more exposure. If you don't see our posts, click like at facebook.freetalklive.com and then hover over it to click get notifications. It's an easy way to spread the ideas of liberty a bit further. I know you're busy, but you can spare that tenth of a calorie it takes to click on something. Facebook.freetalklive.com. This is the Onion Week in Review. A study published Friday by the University of Minnesota found that mosquitoes have no physiological reason for biting humans, with researchers noting that the insects feed exclusively on pollen and seemingly only suck human blood out of spite. According to our findings, mosquitoes usually spit out the blood after a bite. They just really enjoy ruining outdoor activities and spreading deadly diseases. Researchers added that mosquitoes often bite a variety of vertebrates besides humans, including baby pandas, koala bears, and very small puppies, all for fun. And in tech news, a new Visa talking credit card urges buyers to go for it. Come on, buy it. You know you want it. In other news, the utterance of a secret password grants customers access to a long-rumored 18-inch Subway sandwich. It's easy to tell what an area man would look like as a skeleton, and a longtime teacher retires without changing a single student's life. This week's scheduled interview with a surly and forlorn Matthew Modine was cut for time and is doomed to never be seen. For more, visit theonion.com slash newsbeat. You can interact with other LRN listeners in our message board at forum.lrn.fm. That's forum.lrn.fm. This is Free Talk Live. You're listening to the live Sunday night edition. Tonight, it's me, Stephanie, with you. And Brian. And Mark. And mere moments remain of the show. We still got a a couple segments to go, but if you want to squeeze your calls in, now's a great time to do it at 855-450-3733. That is, of course, the Pro XPN toll-free call in line. And you can also call us on Skype by Skyping LRN.FM. And uh, just want to let everyone know, I guess we we talked about Brian's podcast a little earlier on the show. I am a voice actor. That's what I do besides Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live is kind of my moonlight job, I guess you could say, <laughs> on Sunday nights. Certainly doesn't pay the bills. <laughs> no, but that's okay because I love to do it. And uh, it allows me to talk to people like you every Sunday. But if you want to see what I do during the week, you can go to smvoice.info. I keep meaning to kind of update it and post more of my projects. I I've, haven't updated it in a while. But uh, you can find out a little bit about my voiceover business and the types of work that I do. And that's where to get in touch with me if you want to hire me to produce a commercial for you or an audio book or a video narration or anything like that. So smvoice.info. And thank you very much for that. Mark? Yeah. Go to BuzzBox. 
excuse me, go to coffee.freetalklive.com to get some free BuzzBox coffee. It's shade-grown, 100% organic, and top 1% grade Arabica beans. This is a free pound of coffee. You pay the shipping. We'll send you a free pound. You sign up for a prescription, excuse me, a subscription program. It's not prescription uh, coffee. Subscription coffee. That's right. <laughs> and you can cancel at any time. If you just want to get the pound of coffee... And you don't want any more? That's fine. You can do that. But it is a re- it's really great coffee. I drink it every day, and I think you're going to love it. It's coffee.freetalklive.com, and we're able to give a percentage of your uh, uh, you know subscription price there, and we're able to give it to people around the world through a, uh, a microloan program. So, and then once it's paid off, we're able to give that money out again. So this is a really great way to keep on giving um, and really help people around the world. Instead of giving just a hand out, you're giving a hand up. These are the things that people need, whether it's a plow or west- restaurant equipment or a car, or who knows what they need in order to do whatever they do. But you can help them simply by getting your coffee, the best coffee you can get, by the way, and healthy coffee for you, coffee.freetalklive.com. All right, so 855-450-3733 is the number to call if you want to bring up anything that's on your mind tonight here on Free Talk Live. Steve is on the line in Missouri. Let's talk to him. Hey, Steve, you're on Free Talk Live. Hi there. So we were talking about the... uh, Hi. Uh, We were talking about the... um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, when it comes down to, like, uh, you know, psychological diseases, they call them. They call them diseases. They aren't really diseases. You know, it's okay, what are they? somebody made up. Well, I mean, we could talk about any of them. Bipolar, you know. Yeah, uh, I mean, I definitely... Uh, you know. Yeah, I I definitely am sympathetic to that argument because they're totally different. It's not like a biological disease where you can do a test and the test results will show, okay, this person is infected with this bacteria or this person um, has this autoimmune disease or whatever. Um, You don't have that with mental illnesses. It's all kind of, well, you interview the person and if they have, if a psychiatrist says they have three out of five of these symptoms, then they are diagnosed with the disease. And then they're given a drug that these drugs are just prescribed for all different kinds of psychiatric diseases. Some people they work really great great for, other people they kill themselves. Uh, Yeah, I mean, and honestly, it is kind of crazy because I would think if these diseases are so, then pretty much anybody that listens to Free Talk Live and anybody involved with Free Talk Live has a genuine disease. What's, which disease is that? Uh, oppositional defiance disorder. I got, I've got that one. I yeah, I have it. I mean, that's, that's, that's in the, you know, uh, whatever. DSM. DSM-5. Or yeah. the big book of crazy, as yeah. Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends likes to call it. Yeah. <laughs> but that, you know, when I mean, I'm a psychology major. I, you know, I got a bachelor's in psychology. But, you know, one of the things I did is that you know, when I'm in one of my papers, I said, hey, look, ADHD, this is not a disease. It's not. Yeah, you know, You're what other disease? So, like, one of the symptoms in the in the diagnostic handbook uh, for ADHD is that the, the person, or the ch- it's usually a child, so let's just call it a child, the child is a problem for their teachers or their parents. What other disease has as a symptom the fact that other people consider you a problem, you know? <laughs> yeah, and you know, that's an interesting one, too, because, and, and I, I'll never forget this, but in the 90s, it was an issue of men's health where they said that they did a study where they had kids with ADHD and they made the re- they extended the recess period from an hour to two hours, and suddenly those kids would come back in the class and, you know, they were calm as Hindu cows. And I mean, there was no, you know what I mean? So it's really, it's just a difference. It's just that they're, yeah, they have a lot more energy and things like that. Yeah, maybe it, something's it nothing... wrong with you if you can sit still all day in a boring Yeah, I think there watching. is something wrong if you can handle <laughs> sitting in an institution like that. Yeah. You just sit, if sitting more for more than an hour is unhealthy, you've got to get up and do something. Yeah. I mean, and then you hear the the stories of the people who say, well, you know, honestly, I just really can't focus like there's something with my mind when I take these drugs they really help me Uh, and I don't want to discount those people's experience but I do think that at least we can say that these are really overdiagnosed kids are getting given drugs that they don't really 
understand how these drugs work. The, they don't understand the, the long-term effects of those drugs. And perhaps in a lot of cases, it's simply the fact that the adults, you know, kind of want to shut the kid up and get them to calm down and think the easiest solution is giving them a pill. Indeed. Yeah, that that is definitely true. I think that's true. And, you know, I, yeah, I agree. That it's overdiagnosed. Too many people, yeah, take pills for things that are just, you know, it's something that you just need to get through, you know, in life. Now, Steve, you know, have you ever you read uh, Thomas Zaz's work? He was a psychiatrist, and he basically said that these aren't diseases at all. They're simply just differences. They're just differences in the way people's minds work. And perhaps someone with schizophrenia or some other, you know, quote unquote, mental illness is basically just trying to tell you, look, I'm in pain. And they're expressing it in a kind of a way that other people find strange. Do you kind of go that far? Well, I've never read that book. It oh, okay. sounds good. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to look into that. <laughs> I don't know. Cool. Well, the author is um, you know, Thomas Zaz. And... I, I, oh, sorry. No, you go ahead. Well, yeah, I've just never gone that far. Like in college, you know, in psychology, like studying psychology, I, yeah, I basically just I put it all aside. Like I didn't really agree with any of my professors, and yeah, what are you doing now? Are you working in the psychiatry field or psychology? No, I went to sales. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a common experience. And do you feel like the degree was useful? Yeah, Yeah, I think so. You think you can use it for your sales degree? Use use it for your sales career? Yeah. What about you, Mark? Yeah. I mean, you, you're in sales also. Do you feel like you need psychology for selling? Or you uh, use you use psychological knowledge or whatever? I think sales is uh, is follow-up. Uh, I think it... Uh, Persistence. Is, yeah, just reaching out to people um, over and over again, making sure that they have what they need to make a decision, helping them to make a decision, finding out what, they're, um, what they need to make a decision, mm. you know, honesty, those kind of things. You, you know, follow-up and honesty, you'll do fine. Yeah. Steve, thank you for calling yeah. in tonight. It's great to hear your perspective as someone who's uh, been sort of in the field. Appreciate your thoughts tonight. And uh, 855-450-3733 here on Free Talk Live is the number to call if you want to talk to us. You know, I, I got to agree. I've always felt very weird about like disease, you know, the mental diseases. Uh, it's such a strange thing. In fact, even like, you know, people talk about this chemical imbalance stuff. As I understand it, there's not even, there's no evidence that people are born with the chemical imbalances. Yeah. What do they that, have a Prozac deficiency? Uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it's very weird. Uh, the DSM-5 or the DSM in general, uh, mm. it, it just, it reads like... Not only that, but the history of mental illness oh, is, yeah. a, is one of how can we get these people out of the way? That's what it's, that's what it was all, all about for Ke- so long. Yeah, yeah, chemical torture, basically. Uh, look into electroshock therapy or insulin therapy. There's more coming up on Free Talk Live. Wake up and smell the freedom. One of the easiest things you can do to help liberty is to torrent Freedom Fiends episodes to help keep them drone-proof. You can set up your home computer to download and share Freedom Fiends archives over BitTorrent. You can even set up scheduling so it only shares while you're asleep or at work. Put your unused computing power to work and help keep the Freedom Fiends around well into the future. Simply go to FreedomFiends.com and click on the Torrent Club link and learn how to torrent and share Freedom Fiends archives. I'm Chuck Woolery. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't like taking pills for minor arthritis pain, and I really don't like those patches either. But I have found something that works, Australian Dream. It's an arthritis pain relief cream. It's a great product. It doesn't smell or burn. It isn't greasy, and it works. And Australian Dream has an empty jar guarantee, so you can use a whole jar, and if you're not happy, you get your money back. But I doubt that you'll send it back. You know, the stuff really works. Get Australian Dream at Walgreens, CVS, or Walmart. You'll be glad you did. Summertime is safe big time at Herbal Healer Academy. Long-term customers know summer is the time to stock up at HerbalHealer.com. And for new customers, welcome to the web's best place to save on vitamins, minerals, and more. 
Log on for summer specials including all sizes of colloidal silver, colloidal minerals, and intestinal freedom on sale. Choose from Herbal Healer's great variety of weight loss products like apple cider vinegar, hudia, and metabolic complex and pro-metabolic all on sale now. Also, the anti-parasite intestinal freedom and wormwood plus complex plus stevia liquid sweetener and the super enzymes all on sale for summer at herbalhealer.com. As always, we offer certificate correspondence courses in natural medicine. Medicine. Enjoy same-day shipping and free online newsletter. Log on now to HerbalHealer.com and look for summer specials to save big with our nation's leader in supplying quality natural medicine and education. Since 1988, Herbal Healer Academy. What if the key to achieving liberty in your lifetime was to move together with others who think like you? Liberty activists are joining the Free State Project, which is over 70% of the way to its goal of 20,000 participants. And they're already making the move to New Hampshire. The successes are piling up and are proving the Free State Project is a real movement and no longer just a great idea. When you're planning your move, consider Keene. Keene is famous for its civil disobedience and non-cooperation, and there's plenty of political opportunity as well. From demonstrations and vigils to outreach and volunteering, there's a lot going on in Keene. Keen is the Liberty Media capital of the world, with television, talk radio, and more, all originating here. Though it's more than just activism, with regular social events each week. See what's happening at freekeen.com and get connected with video, audio, free books, a forum, and activist tools you can download and use in your area at freekeen.com. That's freekeen.com. So you've heard all three hours of the latest episode of Free Talk Live, and you're still hungry for liberty-oriented audio content? Did you know that we have another 24-7 audio stream at LRN.FM? The Liberty Radio Network airs the latest episodes of some of the best liberty-oriented podcasts on the Internet around the clock. In addition to recorded content, you'll also hear live shows like Free Talk Live, originating from our Keene, New Hampshire studio. So listen anytime at LRN.FM. That's LRN.FM. This Your Family Today tip is brought to you by Lil Drums. Every bit as fun as a full-size Nestle drumstick cone and definitely cuter. Visit us at drumstick.com. Vacations are all about family time, but you don't have to leave home to have fun. Take one weekend a month and devote it to family activities. Pull out the board games and puzzles, serve up some treats, or have a picnic. Even without leaving home, you'll feel like you've really had some time away. For more tips like these, visit us at parenthood.com slash yourfamilytoday. If you enjoy LRN.FM, please contribute to your favorite shows via their websites and become an amplifier at amp.lrn.fm. That's amp.lrn.fm. Free Talk Live. The last segment of tonight's show... If you want to get your calls in, now's the time to do it at 855-450-3733. Or you can call us on Skype at LRN.FM. And with you tonight, it's uh, me, Stephanie. And Brian. And Mark. All right. Uh, so, sorry, I'm a little distracted here. I was getting a message on Skype saying, uh, I'd like to call in. So, yes, caller, please go ahead and call in whenever you're <laughs> ready. No problem. And... Uh, Okay, I think, you know, if we don't have any calls right now, I think we might as well continue this college story. Oh, but we we do have a call coming in. So. Okay, great. <laughs> okay, let's go to him. So I, don't... I think we got Pizza Guy on the line. Is that right? Pizza Guy? Hey, it's me. Yes. Hey, Pizza Guy. What's going on? Hey. You're on Free Talk Live. Awesome. Well, I'm really trashed. Uh, so <laughs> okay. I'm not... I thought I'd call in in the last bits of the show to make delivery guy complaints. Um, so if if you'll yeah abide. sure yeah I'm curious what do delivery guys I'm complain about in the your... uh, in the dark and what are you supposed to tip these people? I have yet to figure it out. Tip I mean, them as much as possible. Well, yeah, well, that's always that the answer is. But a hundred dollars. <laughs> when, when I started, like seven dollars. So okay, it's not about so a server you're supposed to tip a percentage, but as a driver. Really, it's kind of a flat rate. I don't care if all you ordered was breadsticks. You owe me a full tip because it's the same amount of work if I'm driving there or not. Indeed. So is it, does it is depend on the time it takes to drive or the mileage or anything like that? 
yeah, no, the time. You you should consider the time. So if you live way down in, well, Eagle Run and Fargo here, uh, but if you live way down in the middle of nowhere, uh, you should be tipping better because it's taking up my time, right? Like the more deliveries, the more turnover I have, the more deliveries I can make. And when I take your far away delivery, I'm giving up deliveries I could be taking near that are roughly the same amount of tip. So it's mm. costing money. Every time you say yes to something, you say no to something else, right? <laughs> yeah, no. You know, uh, uh, delivery driving is so beautiful for me from even from a young age. It's like being a small business owner. The faster you go, the more money you make. That's why I run up third floor apartments. It's a great job. I like it. <laughs> and did you have a, do you have insurance as a driver? We had this question come up a little earlier in the show. I don't know if you heard it, but <clears throat> Mark, Mark yeah. was speculating that most people who do driving like for delivery purposes don't When have... I delivered pizza, I certainly didn't call my insurance company and say, hey, I'm delivering pizzas now. Do you have the pizza delivery guy insurance plan? Yeah, I um, I can neither confirm nor deny uh, that I want to <laughs> talk about that. Got it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but so, Mark, you had asked uh, how much. You know, when I started a solid 10 years ago, uh, as a lowly college student, the average chip was about two dollars. Anything less than that was an insult. It's getting to be three dollars is is probably uh, what I, what I consider, and you know five is regular and decent. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, and uh, yeah, again, it's it's not about the size of the order. Although if you're ordering two hundred dollars worth of pizza, you better tip more than five dollars, right? Yeah, I was thinking at least five dollars. I mean, and maybe so, even more if it's a big order if they're driving far away. Yeah. Do you yeah. want it to be higher if it's in the winter? Should it be a higher amount? Yeah, you know, well, and that you know, that is actually kind of an interesting thing. Uh, yeah, you know, in, in the winter it should be higher, but we have more volume in the winter, so people uh, don't want to leave their houses. <laughs> yeah, right. So in the summer, really is. I mean, if you're going to be conscious about it. But what's really interesting is that in extraordinarily inclement weather is actually when tips go down. Because people who are good tippers who are conscious go, oh, I'm not going to order pizza, which really, I mean, if we showed up to work, we want want to deliver pizzas, right? So the people who care don't order. And the people who are like, I'm entitled to food because it's bad weather, but they don't tip, there's the ones that order. So tips actually go down in bad weather. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's That's interesting. That's very interesting. And how much do you make hourly as a pizza delivery person? Yeah, in North Dakota, um, they're actually allowed to put us on server wages when we're on the road. You're kidding me! Wow, so it's like two bucks an hour. Uh, it's four eighty-five in North Dakota, so wow. it's not. At least that's what Pizza Hut uh, does. But, yeah. Thank wait, you for your service. I have to say. Yeah, Thank wait a minute. I thought service. North Dakota was this booming economy. Can we get these guys paid? Yeah. Well, what is this? Well, and actually, it's it's kind of interesting you say that. We can't keep people. Uh, we're super understaffed. Uh, and they, they're actually finally years later coming in and raising the rates. But recently they passed the server wage thing in North Dakota and then they cut everybody's wage and it's the central CEO, um, I don't know, wet dream that they all believe that, oh, higher wages don't buy better employers. But, uh, lo and behold, after they cut everyone's wages, uh, slowly I was the number four driver. Now I'm the fastest driver. Why? Because all the other ones just went elsewhere. They found better economic opportunities because you were paying less. You can't beat supply and demand. Indeed you can't. And it doesn't matter how many business degrees you have. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it does not. But yeah, what I really wanted to make sure I got out tonight though, is people stay off my roads. If you're not competent to drive. And if there's more than one lane, don't go the same speed as the person next to you. Yeah, that's frustrating. <laughs> uh, you should, if, if you find yourself sort of doing that, uh, I'm alongside the person next to me thing, you should just speed up a little bit and get in front of or slow down a little bit and get behind them. But I would like to say as far as being competent on the road, no one knows whether they're competent or not. No one is competent, but uh, no one knows whether they're competent. <laughs> no one's competent except Mark and Pizza Guy. Right, well, it's like, it's like saying stop being stupid. <laughs> stupid people don't know they're stupid, yeah. and there's no solution it's for it. unconscious incompetence, right? It's like... You know, when you don't know that you're not able to do right. something, right? Well, in a survey, something like 90% of people thought they were better than 50% of drivers on the road. Indeed. 
It's amazing, you know, and you, I mean, isn't this always the argument that, look, well, people need to be licensed when they're on the road. They need their license. Oh, yeah, because clearly that's making everybody such grand drivers. I mean, oh, we're only yeah. having these issues or some odd 30,000 to th between thirty and 300,000 people dying a year on the road. Well, I welcome our great computer overlord that's going to take to drive us from one place to another. No, no, Bring no. the Google cars. No. I want to be able to sleep on my way to work. Now they have delivery drones coming out. Project yeah. Wing. Yeah, that's no going to take thanks. care of your job there, bit delivery guy. <laughs> well, pizza guy just dropped off, but um, I wonder if that was all he had to say. Maybe. I suspect it was. Okay, yeah. thank you, thank you, pizza guy, for the call. <laughs> he he broke up with me before I could break up with him. <laughs> does, how does that make you feel? I feel hurt. <laughs> I feel hurt. <laughs> Wait a minute, why are you feeling hurt? I'm right here. <laughs> Nobody so, likes to be broken up with. <laughs> you know, I so, wonder how how exactly are they, how is Project Wing going to deliver pizzas? I wonder if they're going to make a delivery drone uh, and they're going to slide a pizza in it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, have you guys ever worked as a either a server or as a delivery person? Sure, I've done both of those jobs. Okay, did it, I, what I wanted to ask Pizza Guy was: Did a girl ever invite you into her house? Did a smoking hot girl ever answer the door? and invite you in to share the pizza with her. When they ordered the big sausage. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. the only time. I did happened. have one offer the opportunity to come back after work. Oh, my. Um, I was That's a pretty good. I was a little put off by her three children. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So that was my really one issue there. She was attractive and, and certainly, I mean, she, you know, it takes a lot emotionally to just say, hey, why don't you come back after you get off work <laughs> to a person who's wearing a red, white, and blue uh, pullover top and a uh, one of those uh, a visor cap, right? I mean, yeah. Now yeah. I have had coworkers ask me to go into the walk-in cooler and, hey, could you help me reach the onions? <laughs> and you know that turned <laughs> That's into what the kids are calling it these days. Uh, oh yeah, and that turned into a very interesting uh, situation. So now I never really said, with customers. You said fast food has its own lingo, right? Like. Oh, entirely, when yes. When there's a hot customer. Yeah, it's called an ice check. And that means because there's an ice bin on each side of, uh, you know, of the at drive through and up front at the front counter. And so you say, hey, can I get an ice check to see if there's enough ice? And really, that's just code word for, hey, there's somebody hot up here. The other one Come to take use, a look. Yeah, the other <laughs> one to use is when, if you're at a, there's a particular restaurant chain that offers small and large chilies. And they will ask, they'll say, hey, uh, can I get a medium chili from the drive through Can I get a medium chili from up front? There is no medium chili. And so it's a code word for the fact that there's someone very attractive, <laughs> you know, either at the window or up front. So there's, yeah, there's a lot of this little stuff that, mm. that, that you learn about. But reaching the onions is not widely known, right? No, no, that's not widely known. But I can say that, um, that having fun in the, not just the walk-in cooler, but the walk-in freezer Makes for a very interesting situation. It makes for a, I mean, doesn't sound like you'd stay in there too long. No, no, no. You'd be surprised because you, it really makes it. It makes it great because your bodies are so cold that you're just like you're dying to be next to each other to feel the warmth. And uh, I, I have to say, it, it's some of the best uh, physical contact I've ever had. There you go. What an image. Well, uh, you know, I mean, I'm I was as PC as I could be right there. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, these kind of things happen. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I got uh, touched, groped, sure and the whole it, thing. I'm uh, sure it happens. Wait, so jobs. you got sexually harassed at work? Yes. As a server? Mm -hmm. I have found By that women? women sexually harass me a great deal when I am working at uh, different places. Now, I was I was younger then. And I get the same. It, it's not like they bother me. <laughs> you know, hey, go ahead. But yeah, I mean, absolutely. I like it. Thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Mark likes to be sexually harassed. Write that down. I had uh, one, at Clear Channel, I had one gal come in, kick the door closed and say, take your clothes off. I oh didn't, my. but it was funny. This is Free Talk Live. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow. FreeTalkLive.com. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in. We're done. Um. Fact. The new NSA data center in Utah requires 1.7 million gallons of water every single day to operate billions of Fourth Amendment violations need massive computers and the water to cool them. That water is being supplied by the state of Utah. Fact, there's absolutely nothing in the Constitution which requires your state to help the feds violate your rights. Our message to Utah? Turn it off.
No water equals no NSA data center. Visit offnow.org. Are you a political activist who does things that the government might not like? Then this free ebook may save your life. Rats is your guide to protecting yourself against snitches, informers, informants, agents provocateurs, narcs, finks, and similar vermin. Rats was written by O. 